Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Saturday Night Fights, brought to you by the Armchair Dragoons the Dogs of War have assembled at 1814. There's a Napoleonic year for you. 1814 on March 23rd, 2024, and we are very, very happy to have you with us. Let's go see if the, the internet has been very kind to me all week. I want to see. Look, this is amazing. Here it is again. Pow, oh, Biff. This is so great. Uh, <laughs> there you go, Mike. Now you're being productive. Calling has out for being late. <laughs> Fidelis, you are absolutely right. Saturday night is all right for fighting, and that's exactly what we're going to do. And there is now a tweet out. Regrettably, our guy Dalinor, apparently his computer has given up the ghost. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know exactly the nature of the damage. I doubt he does. Um, yeah, let's see. He will join us as he can because why would why would we talk about Dalinar? Well, first of all, we have to say hi to Sean Connery. Hi, Sean Connery, looking out over the Battle of Borodino as he always does, greeting us. But why would we do it? Well, because it, it's it's Project Catrabra. De Camuia ad quatuor brachia. Ten ways to four arms. Well, first of all, we're well over ten ways. Holy cow. But uh, we're back to catch a bra. And we're going to do it, why wouldn't we do it, with General Darme too. I will say, this has turned out to be one of the bigger, more figure dense games we've played in Project catch a bra. Uh, and I was also surprised at the uh, relative difficulty of this conversion. This is the scenario that we played for Valor and Fortitude. Obviously the figures and the terrain are brought to us by the founder of our feast, the Mechanical Turk. And he brought this to us, this lovely three-dimensional terrain. Uh, but he And also the figures, of course. But this is, uh, this is pretty, pretty big stuff. And uh, it also required some judgment calls that you'll see spread out. I'll only point to two of the bigger ones. Number one, for the very first time, I believe in all the times of us playing General Darmé 2 or General Darmé, we have elite troops. They're back here. They're British. Of course they are. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. What can I tell you? Uh, this, but this brigade uh, of of askew, they are the foot guards. They are. They are the, they are the foot guards. You know. So this, these are these are the best troops in the British Army. Uh, the, the, those French guys are over at Lagny, uh, not not here. So they are. Good to, however, we do have some veterans running around. So we, we got some quality differentiation happening, which is unusual. But as a consequence, they also get elite skirmishers, something we've not seen. So curiosity rate is heavy. Uh, this yes, most assuredly. All right. They're yeah. still on the tooltips. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, no, no. I, I just figured, I, I confess, I thought that was obvious, but that's a fair question. Um, that, yeah. yes, they're at their, that if anybody going to be heavy, it's going to be my cuirassier. Um, yeah. No, that's no. That's the first time you've had Hatchel heavies in a GTA battle. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Because truthfully, as I read the way Dave Brown looks at this, most troops aren't. Um, it's your cuirassier and your heavy dragoons, really. Yep. Are the only ones that get. Then of course you go oh, and in you know a few edge units like your Carabinier and things like that, uh, but not much. Anyway, it's Catrabra. What don't you know? You know the nature of the fight. This is we'll go over the scenario, but uh, I because Dalinor isn't here, I have little choice but to defer to the man who has said he is determined to bring joy to the name of Marshal Ney. Carano, I assume you would like to assume the big chair. Sure, I'll do it. <laughs> All right, you are the man in the big chair. Michel Ney, first prince of Moscow, first duke of Elkigan, commander-in-chief, with, oh, look at it, caissons. Hey. Thank you, Haz. Those are Haz caissons. He gave us those. As well as his six aide-de-camp. You, you, oh, there you go. There you go, as you like. Uh, who would like to play the role of the Duke of Wellington? For such he is now. Wow. <laughs> this is quiet. Hey, wow. No one, no one cheering for old nosy over here. <laughs> sure, I'll take him. What the hell? All right, Vance, <laughs> the ma Vance, who has never played General Darme before, will be hurrah for old nosy, the Duke of Wellington, and his six aide de camp. Uh, there's another decision I had to make, and Chrono, I think Chrono is the only one who actually has the rules here. Um, there is a core level game that you can play using General Darme too, and it's intended for once the game gets to a certain size. This is one of the things we've talked about with Catra Bra, why it's such a great way to test rule sets, 
is that it's really kind of on the cusp between a small game and a really big game. Yeah. Um, it, it is still, to me, as I read through the core level rules, this just wasn't big enough. Uh, and, yeah. and the, 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 there are divisions. I did make the division commanders. They're hanging out if you're wondering why they're there. And if you're wondering why they're here, it's because I did make them and I organized them. The other thing is Michael Hopper's scenario actually broke them down by divisions. He substituted brigades, divisions for brigades in his organization, which was a little weird to tell you the whole truth. Um, but there it was. And and so I went down and I grabbed the OOB online and I substituted in the brigadiers, which is what you will see uh, commanding in each one of the cases. This does mean, however, we have a lot of brigades, which meant on the recommendation of the rules, both sides will get an adjutant. It just, it pretty much just has to be because, you know, rolling six and you've got, I think, 10 British and... Nine, and nine French, I mean that's that's that'd be pretty tough without an adjutant. Um, so it's so we went that way. I kept away the divisional commanders, and there it is. So uh, Vance, you have chosen to play uh, the Duke of Wellington, the commander of the British forces. That gives you a few things you got to do. Who will join Vance with the British? I will. OJ's on the British side. Uh, what what do you so uh, do you now? That's the two of you. There are more British total than there are French. Who would like to join Chrono on the French side? Well, not everyone talk at once. Well, what, I, I think there's a there's a quiet desire by CT and Achilles to play on the same side, but unfortunately, it's but they've been thwarted yeah. in their. Well, I'll, really take, I'll, I'll tell while. you what: yeah. if, if Achilles and, and Bruno, uh, CT want to play on the Allied side, I'll jump over to the French. No, oh, I don't. I don't mind playing the French. I've been playing the French. Well, it's more the question of do you want to play with Achilles on the oh, same it, side? I or figured we weren't going to be able to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I'll 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 be on the British side and okay. uh, CT. You can play on the French. Sure. Yeah. I mean, Jim, you're going to call me Chrono and Chrono CT the whole game, yeah, so that, yeah. that works out, right? <laughs> yeah, that uh, works fine. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, those are those. Now you're hitting with your words. Um, <laughs> So, all right, so then if, I, if I've if i gathered the group correctly, it's going to be Vance, OJ, and Achilles for the British? Yeah. And it's going to be CT and the chronologist for the French? It's the, it's, it's the commandologist. The commandologist. <laughs> the commandologist. The commandologist. CNC. Yeah. The CNC. CNC Music Factory. Everybody dance now. Um, okay, so that's what it'll be. Uh, let's turn on the map. Well, actually, let's do the scenario real quick. You've played this before, but uh, and we will be using we will 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 be using uh, a, the scoring system in GDA two, which actually is a lot like that in Valor and Fortitude. I will note. Uh, you know the situation. The small lake is impassable. I, I realize that's not a terrible shock to any of you. Um, to do uh Encore is is not Jemmy Encore is not merely a village it is a strong point should the uh should the french get really or the allies get really saucy about it the french will be deploying second one formed battalion from foy and foy is this group is actually foy is not on the board that's the frustrating part because that is actually the group um that includes the first second and third of the fourth legere which is uh, i think over here is that the, i think these two are because this is the first battalion fourth these two got mislabeled as third and second of second because this guy's fourth i think okay i'll have to take I'll a look. look at the actual ob let me see yeah and both the quattro bra OB. I didn't know you had that. Oh, I see what you're doing. Never mind. I didn't realize you had it. You've just got it online. I see. Because it's supposed to have first, second, and third. Under That would be the vision under Foy? Well, look for Bachelou. Look for, actually, look, oh, for yeah. ja, look for Jamin. Look for Jamin. Okay, That's Jamin, who this is. Jamin Gauthier. This is Foy. Okay. So, yeah, these, so what, what's my mislabel here? Who is he supposed to have? Uh, he has He's got the, the first, line. first, second, and third. Yep. And these should all be fourth. Not, so it should be second. first, second, and third of the fourth. Uh, yes. Got it. Little second. I presume it's because you just copied. 
that's it. Well, oh, well, of course I did. <laughs> let's let's not, come on now. I mean, I, it's what I do, so you know. You know, uh, that's 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 what that's what we do here on Tabletop Simulator. Oh yes. Um, okay, so yes, one battalion of foy may be taken out and placed into that space, but you will deploy second anyway. Mm -hmm. um, now, when I turn this map on, you are able to deploy in the space indicated, so the, ignore the fact that your divisional commander isn't there. Got it. Allies deploy first. There you go. That That is your deployment zone, no matter what the name says. Uh, to CT, and, oh, and I let me finish briefly. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Cook's arrival is delayed one turn for each allied formation that breaks before he arrives. It is unlikely that any formation is going to break the way that uh, GDA plays, but I put it out there as a possibility. Cook is the one in the back. Got it. Uh, Sorry, when you say allied, you mean... British or French? British. British. The Allies, because the, this army, this British army, is yep. polyglot, to say the least. Yep, yep that's fine. Dutch, just... Belgians, Germans. Yeah. I'm not uh, a nappy guy, right? So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 12 turns. It is a 12-turn game. 12 turn, 12 turns. Obvi and uh, I suppose it, it takes it... Uh... The goal, obviously, is to take Catra Bra. Always was, always will be. That's... As one suspects. You know, and that's that's what's holding <laughs> that, out. Right that's now. the name. <laughs> <laughs> that's the name of the party. Um, to both CT and Vance, we're playing using the Shaco frontages. What do I mean? There is no march column in General Darme 2. There is just column, which is what this is. Right here. Yep. This is a line. Two and two. And, of course, a square is a square. Just bear in mind, you don't stretch uh, out all the way. A square is a square. Okay. Yeah, I mean... Uh, Literally a square. Okay. I, I like building it. So it's, <laughs> it's a favorite thing I do. Okay. That's a square. All right. All right. So a line is not four. Exactly. Two, a line is two, two and two. two. Mm -hmm. So I will ask uh, my friends on the French side to discuss amongst themselves and then deploy themselves. I believe you can see right on the map when it is your reinforcements show up, including uh, these folks who show up turn one, as does Jerome. You mean the other way around? The British are deploying first, right? Uh, yeah. No. Is that right? Is that, did I speak incorrectly? That's what you said earlier. Depl yes, the French deploy second. So if the Allies Thank would deploy... I, I was like, I thought yep, he yep, used yep, the yep, I did say. So if the Allies would deploy, please. <clears throat> who's um, got what forces? Okay, Vance, how do you want to break us down? Uh, yeah, so Achilles, you want to yes, take sir. all these gents over here? All right, I'm taking the left side. Yep, and OJ, you got the right side? All right. The center here. OJ, you want to take uh, East Dragoons too? Thank you, Robert. Good luck doing whatever it is you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Jim, I can't read anything that's for these gents when they come on or not. Oh, the under part? Yeah, the, uh, the, back, Actually, la the back lads show up at six, the uh, front lads show up at two. And they show up Right, we're there. You see that? See that road? They're on that road. Okay. Here. All right. So we'll assign those at that time. How's that, guys? Sounds good. Hey, uh, actually, for Merlin, mm -hmm. the uh, Cav here. Mm -hmm. um, why don't we give those to Achilles? Well, because they got to set up here. No, I understand that. He wants me to shift him across because there's oh, okay. nothing but there's more open on space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And and yeah. just just so you Actually, know, put them in the center. just if remember to advanced. to make a shift of that size in GDA requires a reserve order. Right. So give, have so them, we have them redeploy them Vance. Yeah, have them put them put them under Vance. That's and, fine. And then because he's in and the I center, can move them up into the middle. Yeah. 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 Sure. Keep keep them for a reserve. Yep, that works. Okay. Uh, so we'll just deploy them over here. And Jim, what is the distance to shoot out of these woods? 
think this way, right? Oh yeah, forest rules. We have forest rules in GDA, and I think, I think they're very good. They are going to be very familiar to those of you who have played um, Chain of Command. Actually, um, it's so. Yep. Sorry, I want to talk to my commanders. Is that okay? Yeah. No, I just want to tell. I want to answer yep. that question. And I certainly can. Yep. Uh, line of sight is six inches in or through woods. However, if you are on either side of a wood, you can't see through it, even if it's less than six inches. Okay. I think it's all six inches on this map, but I, I think it is too. So it's uh, you know, it's it. So again, you can only see six. Mm -hmm. And it is rough terrain. Close order infantry will move at half speed no penalty it may move at full speed but takes a casualty from disorder uh -huh. what is close order is column close order yeah that's every yeah everything column line everything is that's formed or close order the, it's, so everything as, as, a, skirmishers. as opposed to skirmish order and light troops yeah. can deploy into skirmish order but that's a whole different thing um, I'm going to be called light yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, cavalry cannot enter any rough terrain cannot other than streams if forced to withdraw or retreat they may pass through it without penalty but they lose a casualty artillery yeah. may only pass through rough terrain via a road or track when limbered they may not therein deploy it does not affect skirmishers withdrawing or retreating infantry they move it they move at normal terrain speed All right. Now uh, you may now speak to them. Gents, are, 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 do you, shall we be aggressive or defensive? Um, <laughs> well, my, I mean, we're supposed to hold this. Yes. I... Are you talking about trying to defend a little forward and hit them as well? Yeah. Are in? we going to defend as forward as we can? Or are we going to set up in uh, defensive? I shall return in a moment. Um, I like the idea of uh, forward defense. I like the idea of sort of giving in, giving uh, back to uh, you know, what, uh, a fighting withdrawal to the MLR. Basically, what I'm trying to say. Okay. And then determining the MLR got to be where this is. You know, yep. basically. <clears throat> At least that's what I'm thinking of doing on, on this side over here. So, Okay. So just, should we get OJ to line up right at the edge of this forest so he can start shooting at people? Or Yeah, I was going to take that. Hey, Jim, Are you going to take question? back here? Yeah, quick question, Jim. The third battalion's not labeled as line. Are they indeed not line, like the other two battalions of the second Nassau, Nassau Nassau's? He's not there. He's gonna come back. Oh, uh, I I didn't hear him. So he was stepping away. My guess is they are line. That's my guess too. Um... Confirm that. The movement is vigorous. Hey, Jim. Yes. Quick question. Uh huh. The third battalion of the second Nessers, are, are they supposed to be lying along like the first and the second battalions are, or are they definitely nothing? Well, we're, we're here. ping your guys, sorry. Ah, there. They are lying. Okay. Oh, good. I so. Just... You said light can deploy its covers. Now, is it light in their name or is it light in their description? They have to be light troops and they have to be, like, these guys could do it. Okay, because they're called light infantry, but they're labeled line. Yeah, that's their quality. Okay. Who's touching my stuff? Uh, Why well, gotta be touching <laughs> stuff? Spies. Touching my toys. Chrono. Spies. <laughs> what do you work for the TSA or something? What's the deal?
Even the lance. So what's the relative abilities of column and or line? Column faster. <laughs> column is well, faster. Column shoots. Kind of moving? Yeah. Line yeah. moves far less. Co f uh, column shoots far less effectively. Right. Um, Just it, like you would think. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's kind of it, yeah. and and David certainly buys into the idea that you don't basically you don't want to be meleeing in most cases in line. However, however, charging an un an unshaken or an unwounded line is a way to get yourself blown up. You don't fire want to melee in line. You want to melee in column. You would rather melee in column under most circumstances. Yes. Well, think of it as assault column and not march column. I if you're if probably if you're attacking, uh, yeah, think of it that way. If if you're attacking to melee, you'd rather be in a column. But if you're defending in melee, being in a line has a big advantage because you get to shoot with a lot more firepower. And keep in mind that there is pass through on for artillery. Uh, you Shoot through be, or pass through? Uh, well, uh, when he shoots, it's going to go through multiple lines, right? If Bouncing, they're yeah, close yeah. to each other. Okay, right. So keep that in mind as well. Right, 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 right. And how far does the bounce go? Uh, I was trying to remember. It's only it's, it's only three inches. It's three inches. It's got to be a formed troop, and it's got to be on a straight line. The theory of artillery fire is you're supposed to be firing to the center of the unit you're targeting. Right. See, you know, I'm just I'm madly trying to picture this as the hex encounter game that you and I were playing, Jim. Absolutely. Spy, is, well, the biggest SPI thing, game? yeah, yeah. Each each counter yeah. is a brigade. Yeah. Okay, that's what I was figuring. Like that one WGS game we played. Uh, these guys all show up because all the beautiful units in that one are battalions too. Exactly. Now, so uh, is is wheeling a thing? Is like yes. directional thing? Is yeah. wheeling is a thing, is? but but. Wheeling is a thing, but in this game you can oblique. So in a lot of cases, it's just going to be easier to oblique than it is to wheel. So okay, so what really what, what are my movement <laughs> abilities? What like what angles can I move at? Forty five degrees oblique to the front. You can wheel a single unit. A single base is one inch per click. A double a line is two. You may move at half speed to the left, to the right, or behind. Oh, so you can shuffle left or right? You may. Okay. At half speed again. In a lot, in as 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 any formation. Any formation. Okay. Now, uh, these gents, do they? They're just placeholders. They're not. Really... No, no. You'll see what they are. They they have they are very uh, well. First of all, but do the aide de camps are? But I'm talking about. Oh no, Z. Yeah, no. He matters. It's funny. He doesn't matter at all. Right, right. He's just a, yeah, the the the, the commander. Player. Now those case those caissons he's sitting with, they're a big deal. Yeah. Oh, they are. Yeah, yeah that's and it. That's if you go low on artillery ammo, you're going to want that. I I they were located in Catrabra. I moved them out of there so that I could set my guys there. Sure. So you can put them. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, can I give them to him because he's the only one with artillery? No, it and that no, range. No, you. But you, a you have a you have the nice artillery battery right here. And you're yeah, going to have an yeah. artillery bat, bunch of guns coming on here. But the second okay. piece of that is, um, it doesn't. The distance doesn't matter. Oh, so okay. Not for him. Uh, oh, and parenthetically, if the battery doesn't have a brigade name after it, like this one doesn't, yes. you can either keep it as an independent, which means it has to roll for activation separately, or you may pass it down to one of the brigades, in which case it'll go with one of the brigades. That's up to you, uh, Achilles. Yep. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm assuming that these these guys are skirmishers, right? Yep. 
That is your skirmish screen. An important, important thing in General Darme. And because these are the nice bespoke bases, the proper size, that's for you, Matt. These bases touch. Right. And so the little video, I did actually bone up on this. I can't believe I actually... Watch, watch some Napoleonic videos. miniatures. Oh my gosh! I, I watched the videos that the, on the website. Mm -hmm. So he was talking about because these are lights; they mm -hmm. can deploy as skirmishers to help. They can. The they can reinforce the skirmish screen should you wish. It, it it's a pretty significant cost in firepower, though. It's it's situational. You might want to. You might. It's a. It's an. It it weakens it firepower from these guys exactly yeah weakens these guys yeah 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 but it would strengthen these guys overall mm, oh yes well it strengthens the skirmish screen which you'll see right. does have some significance so I, I let me check okay just as a general overall Napoleonic War kind of thing mm -hmm. what is the screens. This game gets this more right. Than, this this one gets this more right than any other system of miniatures I've played. Its function is to protect the people behind it against these big bodies of advancing troops for as long as possible. They would do two right. primary things. One, shoot at officers. Right. Number two, try to sow disorder by just plinking off leaders guys that seem to be advancing steadily, trying to create a level of disorder in the troops that are advancing towards them. All while trying to prevent the guys behind them from being seen, cloud of smoke, a lot of bodies, and also keep them at a distance. So you want to keep them out a little bit from the guys behind them, but in this new okay. system, in GDA 2 as opposed to GDA 1, they their kryptonite are, are, are cavalry. Right, yeah, yeah. If horses get to within 10 inches of them, they got to go, right. and they take casualties in the bargain. That was six. It's six inches, 10 centimeters, I thought. Is that right? I thought it was six, if I remember correctly. But okay. Oh, yeah, it's... what are our measures? Are we doubling measurements? No, 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 this inches. Inches and straight up, but not that you can see them. It's straight up. Um. Okay, so these guys are like just a cloud of individual men out there shooting as fast as they can at, at select targets. Is that yes, what they're, mm -hmm. they're picking their targets. They are picking their targets. Right. So this is these these guys would be semi-elite troops or... They're supposed to be. The, 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 for in, you know, it varies by army. The French in the early part of the Napoleonic Wars, they absolutely were. The uh, They were lighter. The, the name Voltigeur, which is their title, literally means leaper. Right. And they were intended to be actually the small. You know, you always have this thing about how guards have to be a certain height. Leapers had right. to be; they had to be below a certain height. Oh, you wanted small guys because they were yeah smaller. Targets. Figured they would be more nimble, easier to move. They'd move around; they'd be harder to hit. Uh, and they're all supposed to be supposed to be better marksmen. They typically run around in twos. One guy loads, one guy shoots. I shoots right. You know. Um, but yeah, that would be the theory of them. There are the skirmish doctrine exists in every army in the period. Most of them, until quite late in the war, actually don't get good at it. The one army that does are the British. Oh, do they actually train skirmishers? Yes, to be skirmishers? and and actually, the the guys that they train are the ones they ship over to fight the Americans, because. <laughs> The, the those right. the particularly yeah. the the 60th rifles which I think is floating around here somewhere I know the 95th is the the uh, 60th rifles they train particularly to fight the way the Americans started to fight right yeah skirmish battles yeah. Um, okay that's just quick, that's, thank two, you two quick questions this um, this brownish vegetation it's no thing. It's it's no thing. No, it's okay, it's perfect. merely it's merely lovely. It is lovely. It, it, honestly, it is lovely. It is and, lovely. And remind me what the command distance is. Eighteen inches. Eighteen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good deal. Yeah. So that's the other thing is, these commanders are they they move with or are they just they they move they yeah they they move with uh they they have a much longer movement. And uh, they, they are to stay within 18 inches. If you have somebody who is more than 18 inches away from him, they park. They suddenly are unable to do things. Right, okay. 
So he needs a cloud around him. That's okay. Allies all set. French should go. French should go. French should go. Go French. I believe the French should go. Yeah. Oh, you might want to place Wellington and his caissons there, uh, Vance. Wherever well, that was, like, so is, does he need to be placed somewhere in particular? He does not. He does, does not. Is, he should be someplace lovely. I think we're then pretty he, much set on my own. He is someplace lovely. Just wherever you, you think. Put him right there in the middle of Quatre Bras if you want Because sure. right here in the middle of Quatre Bras, we also have the pig of Quatre Bras. And, and, we, have Zard and we have Zardos. So yep. it's all good. Yeah, I saw that. And they're both locked for some reason. Yeah, I, I can't imagine <laughs> why. <laughs> Ron's not here. You can unlock it. Can't him. imagine. Oh, yeah, yeah, but unfortunately, you are. Yeah, and, and who oh. was the person that discovered they were locked? It would be the person that was trying to do something with them. He who yeah. smelt it, dealt it. <laughs> I didn't know they were here until Jim pointed it out. Uh-huh. Sorry, my Jim, my, my question about wheeling and direction of movement and things were mostly about these dragoons. I want to have them move their structure, so I have them pointed this way. If you'd like, yeah. That's always easier. I mean, yeah, yeah, can't you, go through these woods, so they're going right. to go up and around. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you face in this direction and back here in That's the back corner. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you could put them like right there and face them that way. Mm -hmm. And That's just so you saying. know, as of right now, they are, in they are in column, right? So mm -hmm. just. Mm -hmm. But they're horse. Is that bad or good? It's fine. They're, they're horse, so you probably yep. want to be in column most of the time. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. So my French people are all set? Uh, the British yeah. people are. How about the French people? I heard Chrono say uh, they might be. I'm ready. I mean, there's not a lot of room, so... Just... <laughs> Where's the other one? How's he doing? Well, he's got the off-board stuff at the yeah. start, so... Well, that's, he's, st he's still coming on this turn. <laughs> where do I come on? I guess right where you are. Good question. Right oh, okay. And do I measure from my box or from the edge of the no, board? No, no, from the edge of the board. Okay. Mm-hmm. As is well known, and since, and so, by the way, everybody wave at Matt. Hi, Matt. Um, Hi, Matt. Every, Hi, everybody, Matt. As, as Matt, no, I, as I greatly frustrate Matt, I say there's a whole bunch of rules about deployment and reserves and things that are a lot of non, that they're not nonsense. They're valuable for tabletop games that are pickups. Um, they, we don't ever do those. We do scenarios. So there are a bunch of rules about reinforcements and arriving and not arriving that we just don't do because we let the scenario govern them. And you don't play blinds? Not with this. Not with this. Okay. Uh, I have been, you know, don't remind me, I've long been tempted to actually just try to play a game of Le Fou Sacre, which was the uh, game that came out during the first heyday of the Lardy rules, where you had Napoleonic... It was boiled down empire, is what it was, using blinds. Um, always just struck me as interesting. N never mind. That was... Uh, <laughs> That was a whole thing. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to do what we always do with this. We have, uh, you will notice, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, aid de comp, which means both commanders will roll 1d6. You want to roll anything but a one or a two for each one or two. For every three to six you get, you get to deploy an aid de comp. So, but, and that's a good thing. That is an excellent thing. So, 66, please. You don't want them ones or twos. Here we go. Uh, come on. My dice roller seems to... Uh, I got a one or two. All right. Now, there you, you, sir, have a... Oh, you both... Uh, boy, Ooh. so it's three right now for the French, and how many for Four. you? Four. You Four. both have adjutants. Because you have an adjutant, you may re-roll one of those ones. So, hit it. One of the ones? Yeah, if you get a one, you can re-roll it. I got four. All right, you're back to four. Which is perfectly average, honestly, considering mm -hmm. it's three. And you got yours back. So you have five. So it's four to five. But since Vance has never done it before, I will most courteously ask our friends, the French, to show us how we deploy one, two, three, four aide-de-camp. These markers, aide de comps, are placed out with brigadiers on taskings. These are th magical things they can do. So you'll see right. that Carano has placed one here with Gautier. Oh, he has not. He's changed his mind. He, is, <laughs> he has placed it here with Jamin. Why has he done that? My suspicion, Carano, correct me if I'm wrong, it is your intention to give him a re-roll on his activation. 
Yes. Very good. Yeah. Three more, please. Uh, I put one on uh, Husson. Also give him a reroll. Okay, Husson's got that. Um, then I'll put one on Kampi as oh, well. We'll okay, give him giving him a reroll. Yeah. Uh, these guys finally are on the board, so I can't give them any, right? Correct. Correct. Up. Okay. Let's see. Do they need to roll to come on? They do not. Okay. And I think I'll play the last one. Mm -hmm. Where is uh, Nay's here? I'll put on Nay for scouts. Ooh! A, a straight... Okay. All right, Krano, since you're being so sneaky with your scouting behavior, <laughs> tell us what scouts do. Scouts is an ADC you put with your CNC, essentially, unless you re-roll one, one, one D6 on your final 2D6 initiative score, which we're going to roll later on in this phase. So he's hoping to get a better initiative roll if necessary. Right. Canny. Right. Vance, you have five. You'll place five. I have five. Mm -hmm. And you can right. certainly so, take counsel from your friends, but go ahead. Uh, how far does artillery shoot? A bunch. A whole so, bunch. Pretty much... It's a six pound battery, 12 inches canister range, then up to 24 at the effective range. And after that, you can go out to like 40 something. <laughs> but you, you won't be able to see anything on the other side of this hill. Yeah. yeah. But if you so could, yeah, everything on the board, range, yeah. everything yeah. on the board is in range. This this is in effective range. Yeah. So effective what range I, yeah. So what I'm thinking of doing is giving your artillery. Uh, oh, by the way, yeah, I am going to, I'm going to attach the artillery to, um, um, who is this? Pack. Pack. Attach the artillery to pack. Marked. Yeah. So, so I want to. I want to give your artillery an artillery assault. Which Ooh, costs me two. It does. Okay. And I'll okay. give Pack. Uh, where is he? He's right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll give him an aid cap so he gets to reroll if he loses. Yes. That. Very good. That's, you have looked at just rules. to make sure that this is. I, yeah, I was I was watching the. Mm -hmm. Paying attention. Mm -hmm. Man. Dance already um, has proven that he knows the rules better than I do, so it's a good thing he's in charge. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. It is a gift to us from our friend, the Mechanical Turk. Salute to him. You are, you want these guys to do something there? Uh... Uh, well, none of my guys are going to need to move. So, okay. but All right. but the key to activating them is that if they don't activate, then it hurts us on the initiative roll. But I'm not really sure how important that's going to be on the first turn anyway. If you no, see what I, I mean. No, I agree. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to, because I'm going to be cheeky, I'm going to give this guy one. Mm-hmm. There. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My last one. Merlin. Uh... Oh, yeah, don't forget your cavalry if you want to shift them over. Oh, that's, yeah, that's exactly yeah. what I wanted to do. I, want to I don't sure need to move anything, so, yep. yeah, yep. give it to Merlin. There we go. All so, right, so. well, and that, with that, again, oh, man, look at this. Sweetie, there are Dutch people in the trees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. And they are uh, from violence, boys. Well, why don't we start there? Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to wave it around because Matt is in the chat and would yell at me. I am not going to wave around the naughty hesitant marker. We got to figure out a cool. I mean, these are lovely. These maybe I don't need to, but I was trying to think of since hesitant is so common. What could we use for a hesitant marker? Because it certainly wouldn't be an opal chain. Um, it's common. It's only one, two of six, right? It 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 happens a lot. Trust us. It happens more than you want it to. Trust me. And it always happens to the one. It always happens to the one guy you don't want it to happen to. Too. Or, or perhaps we could tell you the story of our guy, Yagov. <laughs> <laughs> who who I think in oh, two consecutive yeah. turns got a re-roll and still failed. Um, yes. <laughs> so uh, we'll begin with Bylant. He has uh, one die, 1d6. One there goes. you go. <laughs> see, what it, see what it would uh, mean? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, let, let the games begin. Uh, this is all Bylant back here? Yeah. Oh, that's huge. Uh, yeah, yeah, Bylant has a huge brigade. Um, and Merlin, please, with two, though. With two? Mm -hmm. He rolls two dice because he has a reroll, so we always just roll two dice. Oh, save, okay. save time. Same effect, Same effect really. 
Wow, these uh, yeah, these yeah that die it, mark. Hang on, hang on. Oh, oh these die rollers are not paying attention. Uh, nine, that's a pass. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how about over here? Looks like Von Kram. What a great name, Von Kram. One die. Is yep. good. How about Von Specht? One die. He's good. And, <laughs> and uh, how about uh, von Butler? Uh, two dice. He's got two? Mm-hmm. Yeah, as soon as I put two on this, the, the die rollers don't work. Let me uh, let me give you a new one. Does that help? Replace this uh, one, too, when you get a second jump. I don't know if it'll help. We'll see. Uh, well, that's garbage. He's good. Okay, he's good. Must be a copy. There you go, Mike. <laughs> okay, uh, we then went. He, uh, we, we went to Von Krum. We went to Von Specht. We did Von Butler. Oh, all these guys are good. Yeah, yeah. Well, here's a big, dra oh, here's a big dramatic one up here. And, oh, Von Raiden. Von Raiden. He has one. Oh, Von Raiden. Oh, that's me. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's you. <laughs> I, I, I was thinking, ah, I was Von Raiden. <laughs> I was thinking all the Vons were over there with the uh, with him. So. Von Achilles. Yep. <laughs> well, I was in the back. Pack. Pack gets two. It was fine. And that uh, oh, that gunnery goes through as well. That's a kind of a deal. Kempt. Kempt for one. So we only lost one. Yep. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty darn good, to tell you the truth. Comp copy yeah. for two. Compy for two. He's good. Mm -hmm. Barely, but he's good. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes barely's all you got. Uh, Husson for two. He's a, uh, oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh -huh. Yeah, just enough. Okay, I know what that is. I know what that is. So we're over here with uh, Jamin for two. He's good. And uh, the army. Uh, the army gun, please. Oh, that's right. They have their own one. He's good. Mm -hmm. And then I think it's just... Gautier. Independent oh, guns count towards initiative? They do not count towards initiative. They do not count towards ADCs. Did uh, Garthier pass? Oh, no, nope. I'm sorry. He went hesitant. You, you, I, I was ahead of you, I'm sorry. Yep. No, I just had to get my stuff. Oh, that's right. You spawned the, the die roller. Yeah, I spawned a die roller for you, <laughs> Mike, for you. <laughs> no, you put it right there in front of CT. Yeah, I did, but that's still... Uh, okay, so I was unsurprisingly... I'm assuming, correct me if I'm wrong, Chrono, that your intention with this German brigade, or battalion is that they are uh, garrisoning it. Yeah, they're gonna leave, but I wanted to put them up there anyway. All right, I, 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 you know, whatever the case may be. Um, all right, that's it. So now we see that we have a hesitant on either side, hesitant both ways, which means both sides will roll three dice and take the score of the two lowest. The two lowest? Mm -hmm. It's a statistical way of punishing you for having hesitance. Okay. That number of dice you roll will go up with each other's brigade. Seven for Vance. Five for Chrono. Chrono is scouting, so he may reroll that two. I will. Oh, did not get any better. But it was All right. Shot. And uh, now, Chrono, you may, because you are attacking, remove that hesitant. I think I will. I don't know why you wouldn't. Say what? Because on the first turn only, the attacker may remove one hesitant. On the first turn only. Yep. Okay. No, do that before or after you roll for initiative. You do that before. You do that after, I'm sorry. You do it after okay. you roll for okay. initiative. Got it. Okay. Yep. Um, so, oh, Vance, no, you, you, Sarah, have the initiative. I, I don't... Well, actually, you might want to. Something to consider. You have won the initiative. You then have yes. the option to play the... Play the op it's an option called Steady the Buffs. And what it is, is allows you to turn the initiative over to Chrono, but then you could pick up that hesitant. Sorry, Sorry hold on one second. Night, Matt. 
Is he off to bed? I'm he enjoying is. the topography here. This is really nice. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Sorry about that. I was getting so what he's more tell- of a booze update. I know what he's telling you, Vance, is that you could trade our initiative for that hesitancy. Oh, all right. It may not be a give, bad thing. Yeah, you could give them the initiative on this turn, and that would lo- that would mean we get to take away that hesitant. And I th- think we'd like to see them act first anyways, wouldn't we? Yeah, at this point, it does, I don't think it hurts us to do it on this turn. Right. Uh, and we shall. We have, yeah. to, we have agreed. We shall. The hesitant comes off. We spin around. Chrono, do you have any charges? Well, no. <laughs> I didn't think so. I didn't think so. And I doubt that there are any charges on the British side. There I will, are not. I will say British, hopefully, through the rest of the evening. With that having been done, we will do regular movement first. Why do I say regular? Because we obviously have some reserve movement on the French side later. Alrighty, I guess we'll start. Oh, and by the way, streams and rough. There was a big discussion on the Facebook page about what that rule means. We went back and forth a great deal. What we have concluded, and I haven't heard from David yet, but what I am comfortable with, take the width of the river wherever it is, double it. So in this case, we're going to say one inch. Take that off your move, and we're done. That makes sense. Easy. Right, that makes it a lot easier. Yeah. I, I just, and nobody wants the fuss, and I certainly mm-hmm. don't. So that's what it is. One inch off your move if you cross the river. Oh, really? Or, okay. Mm-hmm. Or two inches, because it's one inch across, right? No, it's actually oh, half, half an inch. inch. It's a half, half inch. Oh, it's half an inch. Yeah, this oh, okay. is this thing is a stream. Yeah, it's okay. It's, oh, it's, it's tiny. Like, okay, it's got like yeah. hedges and stuff on it though. So yeah, yeah. Okay. it'll still cause that negative. Yeah. Do we measure the depth of the stream? They <laughs> <laughs> did. It turns out they can wade right across it. That uh, bat, a, that's impassable. Is there a reason this? Yeah. yeah, I know. Is there a reason it looks like a, a, a transistor? It's, it did. It actually because it's it did. A triangle shape. It's like a triangle shape. Oh, really? Because it did. Yeah. yeah. Wow. On the maps you find in the battle, it's like a very interesting triangle shape. Daniel Moreno, what a delight to see you. I cannot believe they have you anyway. on the graveyard shift. That makes me sad. Uh, I'm going to start off with Gautier. Mm-hmm. You can move the skirmishers here. They're going to go 12 because mm-hmm. they're skirmishers. Because they do. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. But... Da-da-da, da-da-da, da-da. Exactly. I hear the sound wafting from the distance. <laughs> and it'll be recalled and I know Chrono is doing it you don't pay no penalties for them skirmishes in the trees ah okay because they're they're hunting that's why he's doing that right? because mm-hmm. they're not moving in any kind of formation <laughs> just... right right they're running in amongst the trees yeah Do skirmishers have to stay a certain distance from their parent unit? Um, 18 inches from the brigadier and, and or eight, within 18 inches of a former unit. I think it's and, actually. And, yes. Yeah, it's not or, but, you know. It's, it's like... it, You must be within 18 inches of your brigadier and a formed unit of the brigade you're protecting. Yes. There's also an idea, and it's vague, and I've seen David be very generous with this. You're supposed to be protecting the front or flank of the unit of your brigade. So this is perfectly fine. He's obviously guarding this quadrant. But remember, if, like, for example, if someone were to shoot from here to these guys, there would be no screening of that unit. Right. And skirmishers can freely pass through those artillery. And- yeah, actually, all units may pass through in this game. The one thing you can't do. You can't charge cavalry through friendly skirmishers. Don't do it because really? you can't. Because really? you can't. Yeah, it's it's basically because the skirmishers don't like it. <laughs> you got it. There's no screaming horses coming up behind. Yeah. You. yeah. <laughs> but note the earlier comment. This is a super pretty map. I enjoy it a lot. Oh, a great map. It is. 
So that's a column of guns? Is that is place? limbered. It is limbered. I, there, we had a very long conversation in the early going with GDA. There's Apparently it's an assumption that everyone knows, and I knew about it except me, it, it, you know, <laughs> that you know most people base their guns on these one-by-one -one bases. So they get a battery of four of them side by side. And so the theory was this is actually one, two, three, four bases all in column. Okay. We just play these massive one bases. So. Which are, you know, the ones that <laughs> until the second edition, David Brown said, were the right size. <laughs> but who am I to judge? Let's see. And then so he can leave Yellen Court, whatever. Ways to come out in column, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He comes out in column. Mm -hmm. He'll stick. He'll stick it for a while. They have crossed the stream. They have crossed the stream. I'm saying that in German because we have Brunswickers over there and Germans over there. Stay behind the crest of that hill. I don't want to get shot at by that gun. That gun is in a bad mood. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> terrible. Absolutely terrible. That gun is bringing the angry. Well, then he's doing his job. Mm -hmm. uh, should I have... Oh, wait. Why is there... Why are my scorching okay. bases went awry for a moment? Daniel, tell them that you want to upgrade them at during the... at not, Well, no. You want to do it during the day when they're all sitting there. You have games to play. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, let me check. Put batteries move. How much again? Oh, the foot batteries. Oh, here it is. I have, the, I have my QRS sheet. Yeah, I figured you did. Well, you don't have a sheet. You have it. You don't have a sheet. You didn't get a sheet. I have the PDF, yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be nine. It's going to be eight because I'm eating this one. I have laminated sheets. That's what I got. Ooh. Yeah. Laminated. Laminated. Mr. Fancy Pants is laminated sheets. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should taunt Dalinor. We should. It's not his fault, his computer. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. I'm signing blame. That's yeah. cruel. I was looking forward to hanging out with Dalinor. I used to mock him over there. I think it's just an excuse. He was frightened. Oh, of see that? Oh, he was afraid of Vance. That's what it was. That's how we'll mock him. Why, Dalinor, were you afraid of Vance? <laughs> yeah, of me, of all people. <laughs> he heard Vance was going to be defending Catrabra this time. As I said, there's a boat ton of figs for everybody to play with tonight. That is, I think, all I move in. All right, British regular movement. Go ahead, Achilles. You moving? No. <laughs> <laughs> See, o OJ? That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Line moves how far again? I'm not going to guess. I'm going to say it wrong. I think it's eight. Or is it six? Uh, no. It's it's Dang it! I knew I'd be wrong. I should have shut my mouth till I saw it. I I couldn't remember whether it was six or eight, and I knew whichever one Jim said it would be wrong. So that's how I. Was <laughs> fair. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's fair. I can live with that. GDA artillery can only move if it's limbered. Is that correct? Correct. Well, you can prolong it a tiny distance if that's what you're looking to do. What defines a tiny distance? Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. We'll prolong uh, three inches. Three inches? Yep. Three inches. Manhandle Four. battery, yeah. See, I printed stuff out. Nice. <laughs> Vance is highly prepared. You are. You are disturb. He is disturbingly prepared. Trying to be a keener. Nice. <laughs> Good, for Good word, too. I like it. I'm done. Yeah, yeah, it is absolutely your fault, Delanor. It is. He's not. You're in the chat. You best be on your phone. You tell me you're on your computer. Oh, I'm man. Hey, so this artillery wants. I, he moves fifteen according to my. Chart? Yeah, you mean the cavalry? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what are you pinging the horse and saying? <laughs> artillery. Uh, cavalry. I meant, I meant cav. Cavalry in column is eighteen. Yeah. Eighteen. In line, they're, yeah. If they're in line, they're fifteen. 
very small difference. Not sure why they included it, but you know, it's their game. So. Okay. That's yeah. not that's not on the QRS. Is you have an old it's QRS? Not removed. You have an, have an old QRS. 50, yeah. You may have an old QRS. I got it off of the website. That's the old. That's that's the old QRS. Well, um, well, all right. Well, there was your mistake. <laughs> well, there's my mistake. What the hell was oh, I yeah. thinking? Something to note as well. Uh, something they do for rough terrain in this game is if you if less than twenty five percent of your frontage crosses through it, then you ignore it as if it's not there, because you're sort of assumed that you're compacting your column or whatever to sort of step around right. it. But like these guys did. Exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. one of my favorite. It's seriously, it's one of my favorite rules in the entire system. I was bringing it up because I thought it happened. I was like, aha. It's like, it's, it's like how, how did it take us? We've been playing these miniature war games like this for 100 years. How did it take us that long to go, yeah, they would have walked around that much? Yeah. There's a tree in the way. Uh, it probably took around it. two guys arguing about it and one of them stabbing him with a paintbrush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, you're getting you're getting old man jeans already. Holy cow! No, that's wow. you, you know you know that story, right, Vance? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I figured. See, that, and that, it was probably with the guy's dying breath too. <laughs> you walk around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got a right. he's got a brush sticking out of his neck. Um, <laughs> all right, if that is all the Allied British movement, uh, we now do to reserve movement. Reserve movement, which I believe cues our guy CT. Yep, I think that's all these guys and both of these chaps over here. All right, and they can come on straight in front of them. Correct? Straight, basically, it's straight in front of them. Yep. They could have potentially moved through these guys, but I, I think don't think you want it at this point. So. You've got 18 inches of movement, so. And there's no cost for elevation change. No, no. There, there if if way, if there's yeah. there is some for steeper stuff than what you're seeing here. Yeah, right. this is all very gently rolling. But that's just basically an, a line of sight. Obstacle. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Basically, he's got those guns out there. So I'm not sure you want to run up there just yet. <laughs> yeah, he's got that. He's got that six pound Come battery on. on on super load. Which I will probably roll like all ones for, so you, you won't have to worry not. about it. <laughs> I spent two ADCs on that. You better not. <laughs> I hate it when people do that. Ask Matt. <laughs> <laughs> At least you brought the guns to this fight. Oh, uh, wow. Going oh. deep into Boutsen. I like it. Move this guy out of the way. Exactly. <laughs> There, so you just that Lutzen? That was Lutzen. I don't, I don't have any of those French Marines. <laughs> they're, <laughs> fake <art> <laughs> they're fake artillery. <laughs> they're Potemkin guns. And that was funny. <laughs> that was, even though I was on his side. <laughs> I was like, are you sure about that? I was kind of like, are you sure about that? Ooh, like, the, I ah, Ron's computers. Them? What's this now? Or is it mis mislabeled? Let me see. Wathiers and Magadon. Magadon, Wathier, Magadon. Oh, sorry. Let me uh, punch that. Yeah, go ahead. Leave Pierre up there. I'll get that fixed. Oh, yeah. This should be... That's should Wathier. Be it's it should be Wathier, it's yeah. all Wathier, yeah. But that means I have to get his correct name. It is... Okay. Francois Isidore Wathier. Isidore. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. See, nobody's. I, I'm sorry, Pierre wins my. He, he gets my nomination for the best name out there. <laughs> I love it. That way, if you want, just because if they're anyone within the friendly unit within three inches of your front, in, three inches of your front and your front arc, you can't shoot. So keep that in mind for maneuvering. What was that uh, statement? Oh, um, for shooting, if there's anyone, if there's a friendly unit in your front arc and with and within three inches of you cannot shoot so in oh, theory, okay. if this land where unit was like just had the good corner right there they would be blocked they would be blocking this battery from firing Presumably, so what okay. and your front arc is 45 it's uh, it's it's a little less than that it's, it's but like, oh like that, basically. that's chrono's doing a good job of it right there yeah so it's not forty-five. It's not a it, simple number. It's it's, it's, it's forty-five. Sixteen and a half or something. Oh, it, it, 
it, look, what I'm saying is I thought it was 45, and then I saw David Brown do it, and it looked like 15. <laughs> oh, 15, okay. No, it's, 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 I'm going to. That's easy. It, it's like, it's 30 to 45-ish. <laughs> we split the difference. It's <laughs> 30. Yeah, 30, yeah, exactly. Which is just as easy. <laughs> Yeah, as if 45 wouldn't have been the logical. Just just for the love of God. Yeah, just for the love of God, make it simple. Look at that quilt of men he's got over there. Holy crap. Yeah, Jerome's got a whole freaking division back there. <laughs> that is coming. That's all you've got. So. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you'll notice that after this, there's exactly one <laughs> unit of reserves. The very, very lonely Kellerman, who's actually Guiton, of course. But... Because uh, poor Jerome is uh, out there counter-marching, counter-marching. <laughs> not, uh, not Jerome. Oh, Derlon. Uh, Derlon's out there counter-marching, yeah. counter-marching. He, come to Catra Bra. Come to La Come what? to Catra Bra. Come to La Okay, look, you guys. <laughs> Pick up your ride. Yeah. Fine, I'm splitting the difference. I'm heading to Paris. <laughs> yeah. I will meet you Paris. in I will meet you in Bruges. Yeah. <laughs> she wouldn't want to do this with blinds, eh? I suppose you could. <laughs> Rough, but yeah, so I'm really the, the I ain't been shot on blind thing is just rocking. It works very well. Yeah, it does. All that good spotting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, I think I'm on. All right, thank you, man. Uh, that's it. Did we wind up? So let's flip it around uh, to our friends. That, well, the British have no reserve. Come on, so no. Or do no. you? No, not uh, this turn. Yeah, I didn't think. Yeah, so. yeah, it's next two? turn. Yep, it's on two. The front guy's on two. Uh, with that, any any skirmish fire from the French? I have some here. Look at that! Uh, five of my bases. How about... This guy's out of range. Yeah, so one, two, three. So, just so you know... Uh, yeah, you're in that river, though. Um, yeah. I thought it was fire going through, and I don't know if it was in it. No, it's in or, it's in or through. Okay. Yep. So that's going to co cost you a die. One. So the way this works to both CT and Vance, you take the number of bases. One. And now it, the base has to be in range from center and in arc. That one is not. The other one, two, three, four, five are. It's five plus one is six. But because you're down here in the reeds and the rushes of the river, it drops to five. He's going to roll five dice. He needs a four, five, six to hit you. But he needs two hits to score a wound. Okay. I got Ooh, three. Three so hits. That's one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plink. So a wound. What does mm -hmm. that do? Well, it's what that means is a casualty. And so if you oh, get a on a skirmish screen, if you get three, a base goes away. Three for every base. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. That is the only casualty removal in the game. Mm -hmm. And once you go down to once there's only one base left, the screen disperses. And if the screen screen disperses, your brigade falters, which is bad. In addition, oh really? Okay. Oh yes, yeah. yes, yeah. If you yeah. Uh, if you have two, and your brigade goes hesitant, the skirmish screen vanishes without penalty. The idea being the commanders have said, "Okay, guys, playtime's over. Let's get back in here." Come back and yeah, yeah, yeah. stand up for. Yeah. Uh, other skirmish fire. Uh, right here, uh, they ah. will be firing through the reeds and rushes though, so it's going to be three, four, five, six, so five. Five again, five again. Mm -hmm. Wow. Papa? That's enough to do one. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's a hill in the way over here, so I don't think I can shoot anyone. Long side. I hate it when those hills are in the way. Right yeah, there. there's a hill in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, does he... Oh, yeah, it's also only six inches of visibility. Yeah, so right. we, can't, we can't see each other anyway. <laughs> yeah, you're, 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 you're fumbling your way through the weeds. All right, very good. Uh, okay, any skirmish fire? Well, there must be some counter fire from our friends, the yeah, allies. Yeah. So what is the range? It is 12 so, inches. Uh, That's good. Looks like you're going to have everybody in range. And it also must be an arc. And that is 45 degrees, and that's fine. 
So one, two, three, four, five. That's six dice. Oh, but you're two. You're firing into the reeds. So five. Because I'm firing into the reeds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So five dice. Yep. A wee bit of cover. But it's a detriment when you're firing out of them. Oh, that's four. Wow. That's two hits. Now, wow. now you are sad because you did not have a skirmisher tasking on them. Had you had a skirmisher tasking, not only would you have done two hits, but you would have forced that unit to take a discipline test. Right, right, right. Yeah, but yeah. there it is. Uh, Achilles, I believe you'd like to respond. I think that's yes. you, right? So that's yeah, fun, fun Raiden's up. boys. Yeah. Uh, they're one, two, three, four, five, but down to four because they're of reeds and rushes. No, they're only four. But there's, remember, you get one extra. You four stands. Right, but oh. you get, Oh! Oh my God! You wow. did you just waste we're that? Opening, we're just opening the game with some really nasty skirmisher fire. <laughs> Whoa! Oof, my head. Hey, do I get glory for that? Or yeah, I know, it? right? No, should, it, yeah. it is not destiny. It is not destiny oh. on a skirmish shot. Man, that ought to be something. I, t I tell you, <laughs> Yahtzee. Um, <laughs> so okay, is that all the skirmishing? I think it is. All right, time for artillery. Any French artillery? I have my army battery right here. Where's... Oh, dear, there it is. That's very big the and very big scary. Pound battery. A very big 12-pound battery. There is no one in range of those guys. Who would you like to shoot at, Chrono? I think it's going to have to be... Go ahead. I, I'd like to shoot their battery, but I think I have to go ahead at these. Yeah, it's got to be the nearest formed. Let's check something. Yeah, let's shoot up the Brunswick Elite Life Battalion. All right, what's your range? We gotta, kill their, we, gotta, we gotta kill their duke at this fight. What's your range to those? Yeah, that's true. Well, you gotta kill the second duke in the Napoleonic Wars. The first, oh, yeah. the first one dies at Auerstedt. Yep. Um, yeah, their 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 odds did not go particularly well. Here, that is effective range. Even canisters. for an, even for a twenty uh, even for a twelve pounder, huh? Fifteen inches of canister. So uh, theory, okay. I could I could prolong forward next turn and then be a canister. Yeah, and roll forward into canister range. Um, all right, so effective range, 12-pound gun, no modifiers. Go for it. Yeah, because I'm elevated. Um, the, uh, oh, I, sh I suppose we should check. Yep. Go for it. Yep, that's it. Just two dice, right? Mm-hmm. Let's see. Da, da, da. Uh, that would be eight. Which eight, pl eight one. and it's uh, one plus the CD because he's, oh, he's in line. Never mind. He's in line. But yeah. I do get bounced around the guy. You get, him. yep, mm-hmm. I do get the bounce. Mm -hmm. so, blink, blink. Open the ball. Yeah, there it is. Boom, boom. That's all my guns. The other ones are not yet deployed. Yeah, I see a lot of sideways guns. All right, here we go. Squeak, 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 squeak. Guns this side, Achilles. What yes, Achilles? Sir. Now, the question is what I can shoot at. You're not going to be able to shoot anybody on that hill. You can. I mean, any of these guys? Why can't he shoot it? Why can't he counter battery? Uh, those, oh, battery? Oh, yeah. Counter battery, that you can do. Okay. That's kind of what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. um, I can't... Can I shoot at the ones that are in column? Yeah. I don't know why not. Is there a benefit to hitting them in column? I wouldn't think so. You get so. a CD. You get CD because they're column target effective range. That's about it. Yep. But it is a CD. That's Sorry, on top of what is CD? Oh, that Capital is a die. casualty die. It's an extra die that you roll, and if you roll a four, five, or six, it causes a casualty. Okay. So basically, I would get, I'm going to get my whatever regular roll at a mm -hmm. range of 24. And that is exactly uh, effective range, parenthetically. Yep. So you, if you shot at the gun, you'd get your two regulars plus three CD because you're loaded up with that thing. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. All right. Sounds so good. 2d6. Six. Yeah. six. That's one. It and now you get three casualty dice. Six. All Ooh. Man! <laughs> this dude! He brought the loaded dice today. Oh! Man! And where's that? By the way, nobody moves that. Nobody moves that die roller. <laughs> or I will. Sh or I will shoot you. I am Which not one? touching you mean? that roller. That one. <laughs> <laughs> the feng shui there is just perfect. And then uh, you get a CD on this guy. Oh. No, oh, we're a bouncer. Yeah. Uh, it's 
Somebody messed it up. <laughs> Somebody messed it up. You want to look over at CT, be... I think. Yeah. I know. Yeah. It had to be CT. Still hit him. Well, there you yeah, go. Right. I had it anyway, so. Stuck on that, dude. <laughs> shoot, Dex. Wow. That was bruising. Bruising fire. Any other uh, artillery? Not for me. All right. And I can't believe we got any volleys. Volley range is nine inches. Nine inches. So nothing there. All right. That is it. Yes? Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, no. You can't see that far through the trees, can you? I thought I could. I think you said six. Oh, yeah. You could see out. Was you nine inches? But, oh, yeah. That's a shot. Yes. Mm -hmm. Against the skirmishers? Yeah, sure. You're, it's going to be a weak volley. It, it's a weak volley because you're shooting at skirmishers. And you're firing oh, nice. woods. Um. That's all right. One die. Take a shot. It's a free shot, yeah. Oh, well, can I do well, anything with one die against skirmishers? It's never free. Yeah, never no, no, no. You're rolling, you're rolling one die. You don't want to roll oh, a it's one. It's never free? Why? Because you could lose you can, Yeah, you can lose. You if he rolls a one, he loses fire discipline, which is a problem. Yeah, we'll just oh, hold off. Oh, all right. Okay. <clears throat> That's a really cool... Although, at this point, it really wouldn't hurt you because it doesn't matter... You can recover. Well, the fire turn. Does the fire discipline come off automatically? No, it does if you stand still. You can't move. Yeah, it does if you don't move. You can't move. You right. Can't do yeah, we'll go ahead. The only and take a shot. Well, take a shot. The right. only thing to consider is if these guys come up on you, and right. you don't have fire discipline, then you won't be able to shoot at them, right? Yeah. Is yeah, that is we'll that wait. right, or am I? That's right? accurate, yeah, but that's but correct. they're. Yeah, I guess they could. Yeah, we'll hold yeah, off. They, yeah, they can. Yeah. yeah. All right, they're going to hold off. So very good with that in mind. That in mind, that is a turn. That is a turn in um, General Darmay 2. That's how it goes. Um, okay. So we're going to go to the next turn, which means we will begin with six dice and six dice, seeing how many aid to comp you get. Uh, so these numbers, are there, are there ways to take those off? Or no. just nope. Cumulative Almost numbers? none. Almost none. Okay. There are yeah. very few ways to take to rally. Those there are players. some that do allow it, but they're rare. And you may, you may reroll your one. Because you're aide de comp. Because because you're a uh, adjutant. No. So six six and five. Uh, Chrono, I think we'll start with you this time. Let's see six, please. You got six. Bastard. You got all of them. You're crazy. <laughs> It's supposed to be simul, right? No, it's it. Well, yeah. There's a hidden way of doing it that strikes me as dumb. <laughs> I mean, I was like, okay. really? Besides, that's not good television. We want to see. Yeah, but people want to see what you did. Oh, I understand, yeah. but yeah, there's a hidden way of doing it to answer your question. Okay. Everybody wants it might to see. Might be advantageous it not to know what the other guy is doing, right? Yeah, sure. I mean, why? <laughs> Fun fact, to get out. We know where they're going, Vance. <laughs> well, I got uh, that. Yeah. The, the plan is not a secret. We know where they're going. <laughs> I'm going to give you the same thing again, Chrono. Or Achilles. Are you? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Where's this? Is this one with? Where's this one, Chrono? No, he's nowhere. He's nowhere yet. I'm oh, okay, he's around. that aide de camp is wandering around fecklessly. Yeah. He is utterly without fec. He, he was yeah. utterly without he, fec. Extremely feckless. Uh, I'll give you guys a skirmisher tasking. Ooh, oh, off skirmishy yeah. tasking. Saucy. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna try to shoot up my my artillery with those skirmishers. Mm -hmm. Be aware of that. Okay, so what would you like me to do with that? Oh, nothing. I'm just—he's just—he's just, just, <laughs> he's just, he's just oh, telegraphing gonna what's going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm just telling you what the plan is on their side right now. He's laying uh, the groundwork for future excuses for when the artillery doesn't perform. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. It's on like Donkey Kong now. CT, are you coming? Bring that. Bring that column of guns a little closer. I'd like to fire a canister at him. <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh andrew we have been playing on tts for five years now uh-oh what, what's the accumulation of these again he's got four over here 
thought it yep. was three killed something? No, three kill a skirmisher base. It's up to six, oh. and the guy becomes weak. And then depending okay. on what he is, it's either 10, 12, or 15. He disperses and goes away. Right, right, okay. Yep. Uh-oh, Chrono, your sister's in the chat looking for the Prince of Orange. You knew this was going to happen. <laughs> I, I did tell her that we were doing tonight. I just tell her. Okay, Andrew, 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 no stealing Tommy McGuire's shtick, okay? Just don't do it. If Kempt fails, will he become unkempt? Ah. Uh, okay. Oh, hey, and there, and, and there we go. And there we go. Huzzah. Oh, the bell? The 20 bell. Look at that. Woo oh, look at that. Look at that. Catch your bra brings all the kids to the yard. Fidel is predicted. All right, so your guys are out. Are you, uh, sick? That is five for you, Vance. Five. Yep, done. Oh, wow. Man is efficient. I like it. Well, we're going to go then to OJ. I'm going to spin around to him and say, uh, how about uh, Bylant shows us some magic. Bylant, one. Yep. Yes. You going to party. Uh, over here, it looks like Merlin's got two. Good. Cram's got one. Funny crumb. Nine. Oh. Nine. How about von Specht? Nine. Nine. Remember what you were talking about? How can that be? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Here it is. Uh, two for Butler. Good. Yeah, all good. Looking, looking, looking. I see Pack is next. Pack with uh, two. <laughs> two, yep. Oh, yep. Low, but not too low. Not low enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're hoping for lower. Uh, von Raiden. How many has he got? Just the one. I Just think. the one, yeah. Mm hmm. And way back here, Kempt. Will he be unkempt? Will he be unkempt? Ah! Huh? He is. he is! He is unkempt. He's out of kempt. <laughs> he is lacking in kempt. He is fair clempt. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> Compy um, got one. Compy for two. Compy got two. Yep. He's rocking. See on. why there's 20 people did, watching this, man. Who did, wouldn't want to be yeah. in on this? Did, <laughs> exactly. did you assign this battery to Compy? <laughs> yes. Okay, I figured. It, it had all the look of that. Um, you know that this was battery you, is signed to Jamin. You know, you know Achilles. That was that was hurtful. Huh? That was hurtful. This is this is. <laughs> was it? Was I wasn't. Because well, did, although did my, you know, did my sarcasm kind of come not through? Come through? Or? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We we be jamming. I was trying to hide that. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Man of your advanced yeah, years, uh, you think you're better at hiding it. Jamming for Ooh, two. He's good. And he's jamming. And... Um, Gautier for two. Jean Paul, I think, the clothes designer. He's good. <laughs> at least his ancestor, uh, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, for one. Yep. How about two for uh, Baudin? All right. See, it's almost impossible to roll two. Oh, we didn't get. Uh, oh yeah, we got to get Huber, Huber. Bail. Yep. And at last, Wathier. Well done, us. Wow. Nice rolling. Clean sweep. Clean sweep. All of them. Which means two, two, for our friends the French will that be their dice, whereas the British will roll. Five. Sorry, what? You're going to roll five. You, roll you have dice. three hesitants, which means you roll your base two plus the three hesitants. Five dice take the lowest two. That, seem, that sounds better to me. Than it's, not. it's not. Chrono actually, <laughs> Chrono actually ran the math. It's actually worse than the old system. Oh, is it? Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, dispute. you roll five dice. You, think how many of so them I got are four. Like, four. And he got, got six. six. Yeah. 
Yeah. Statistically, you end up getting like an average of like two lower. Okay. Interesting. Um, on the initiative, what, wait, which one is it that he gets to re-roll the one on? It was the that other is one. on the ADCs. Yeah, that's right. Okay. That's it's what called, the yeah. Yeah, it's, it's scout. Unless you re-roll one of your dice. Oh no! Yeah. I well, it, well, yeah, right. There's that too. Oh, you mean if yeah. what tasking allows that? Yeah. 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 Okay, so I guess it's... There it is, and so therefore, I ask the French any charges. I have none. Do the I British have... Ha- do the British have any charges? Nine. Do I, I suppose I should check CT? You got none, right? Uh not that I know of. No. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't know about them, they're probably not going to happen. <laughs> it's just saying. Uh, all right then. I don't think the yeah the French won't have any reserve movement for a while. So away we go with French regular movement. Hey, Andrew. Everyone's favorite monitor, moderator, the stacking limit. So, yeah, how do you limber guns? What is, what's the... What's well, the this this limber? fashion, it's a, it's a formation change, which means everybody except the veterans and elites, it costs their whole move. So you just okay. spin, you spin them. You just, just spin them around. Yeah. And then they... they I'll show you something here. The horse, if guns, you want, the horse guns can... And yeah, they can limber, limber and, and move. move. They can limber and yeah. move, yeah. Okay. Or move and unlimber. Yeah. Right. Is that a full move or a half move? Full move. Okay. Full move. Yeah. Over here, Vance, just to show you, you can move the you can technically move the horse gun this way mm-hmm. if you wanted to. Or you can spin it and move it that way. Move it and spin it. Okay. It's the you know, tending to do it more efficiently. Uh, can you back these guys up slightly? If possible. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the one thing I noticed about looking at this is that the majority of our artillery is in the wrong side of the field. <laughs> yes. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's wild. Somebody should have oh, hey. thought of that. Man, we are just There's rolling tonight. Not only did we ring the 20 bell for views, <laughs> 20 likes. 20 likes. Wow. Yeah, it's all right. All right, a dozen of you are comes through for us. We must be <laughs> behaving ourselves. Then. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> it's all that clickbait that we're using. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jim Amelia's got a question for you. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Oh, my dear lady. Oh, yeah. You want to talk about suffering. Um, What? Yeah. (laughs) Amelia just asked. There's no guidance about creating scenarios. Just create a historical scenario. Don't don't drive yourself nuts. Um, (laughs) If you really wanted to. Chrono, do you do you and your sister have Shaco rooting around? Um, No, I actually unfortunately have none of those wonderful Shaco scenario books. No, no. I mean, do you, you you don't have the Shaco rules either? I don't have a copy. Of All right, let me scan. I'll scan over to you the uh, the rules for building scenarios in um, Shaco that are in the back of the original one. It'll That'll work. Be It'll work. I appreciate that. It's the same system, as far as that goes. Yeah, I just shift these guys over to the right. Yep. To fill in here. How oh. far does the foot battery go again? Uh, if you, it goes, I think nine. So you can kind of oblique it. Yeah. Guys, gonna back down behind the crest slightly because uh, let's not repeat. Let's not repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have no room to deploy at this point. So. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, everybody who doesn't love Picton in the movie Waterloo, right? I mean, he's a. He's one of the really, really cool figures and a lot of fun. But yeah, the uh, that dude, yeah, no. <laughs> I still wouldn't have taken down his statue. I, I think that that's stupid. But uh, um, yeah, he's he's not someone to emulate human, humanitarian-wise. If I just shift to the right, mm-hmm. it's half move? Half move, yeah. yes. So, so that's four, four, four or five? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Far more generous than one. Yes, I was about to moment. 
say much more generous than uh, the yeah the QRS is three that's because yeah you have an old QRS you have, you have the first edition QRS why is the oh, where do I get the updated one uh, it isn't out yet oh well of course there's one in the back. I, I, if I can figure out how to extract it from my book. Yeah, well, I've, I've, I've been meaning to do it on free PDF, because you can do it on free PDF, but the problem yeah, is yeah. it's a hundred and whatever page rule book. Yeah. And I don't necessarily want to extract the entire book. I could do it with my, I, my, you, my work has a really nice single PDF pages? extractor. But... Yeah. Oh, you can, but the problem is you want, in order to extract single pages, you have to unpack the whole book to do use the free ones. If you've got Adobe oh, Pro... Okay. If you've got Adobe yeah. Pro, you can do individual pages, but right, yeah. How does it work with my Leger here? What do you want to do? Just, uh, into yeah. the woods of skirmishers. All right, kick them out into skir- light, using their lights. Put them into skirmish order, which means you have to kick them out into a line, but you have to gap it. All right, but you have to gap it. Mm-hmm. And then you're stuck there for the turn. Inch between them. Yep. There you go. That's that. That's fine. Yeah, I don't have to be exact. Just, they just gotta be. And they're done. Now they're gonna move his light troop. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think technically, if they're line rated, they can only do that in this rough terrain. But I feel like I don't know. So. No, I mean they got they're deploy they're deploying to do it right. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense to me. So. If you were trying to do that, you could do it over here, though. You're going that way. So. Right. Because they're, they're only line rated, which means they can only do it in... Um... Right. They can't they can't skirmish. They can't skirmish the way a skirmish line does. Yeah. Only, like, veteran and elite line mm-hmm. troops can do that in the open. Right. Because, as we discussed earlier, I can't remember if it was live or not. I think it was live. That, that was a skill, you know? Yes. Right. So... Okay, so like I said, the video I watched said that you could get light infantry to deploy in skirmish to help a skirmish line. Yes, yes, that pumps into the skirmish line, but the guys themselves can't become the skirmish line. Right. Just by themselves. Okay. I mean, light battalions can deploy into skirmish order, but only in certain situations. Mm-hmm. I like the way the first orange Nassau line over here is protecting us from any secret attack coming yes. from the side of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, up until very late, mid more up until very late, that's where uh, Nosy thought Napoleon was coming. <laughs> Chrono, are you moving these guys over here at all? Um, I'm going to, well, I'll shift these guys forward, but I'm leaving them behind the crest of the hill for a turn or two. Because I would like to get this horse battery up flipped around to put some fire on them. Oh, yeah, sure. Go for it. You can move right through them. <laughs> to be fair, though, Achilles, there's this big open gap here off to the side and I had no idea which way CT was going to uh, go. Let me see. How far? <laughs> I don't think he's going to make it. Yeah. He can, let me see. Horse, horse guns can move 15. Yeah. Yeah, 15? except he's, yeah, but take, go ahead. I'm not persuaded because he's going to have to turn. Yeah, there he is. I want to be on that hill. Yeah. Right on yeah. the crest of the hill. Yeah, we keep. You can't. You can't turn that way though. That's not for free. No. Yeah, that's a deployment. He's deployed. Oh, I see. He's, he's going to go there, and then he's going to one limber. Got it. Got it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Cool. Got it. And then. Backed off the crest slightly. So. Would you like my cab to go up and over? Um, you may as well. Maybe I'll send one of these guys up and over. Well, I don't want to block my gun, so if you want to put them out in this area, that'd be okay. They may take some artillery fire this turn, just as a heads up. But uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'd imagine they would. But that might be worthwhile to do. Fifteen. Uh, eighteen in that formation. So Plus across minus the creek, one it'll be minus 17. One. Yeah. Yep. Oh, they don't get the bridge? The, the, the bridge prevents it from becoming a bad thing, uh, and they can cross it in column only. 
Okay. So did I need to stop short of the bridge so I could turn next turn to do that? What you, I'm sorry, I was looking at something else. What are you doing? I will go straight forward though, because I'm it's going to save you one inch, so it's not really worth. Yeah, it's it's a or... it's it's a stream for heaven's sake, right? Um. It's for keeping the ladies' pants dry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, hold on. And you might need you to put them off this way, just so you don't block my battery here for this turn. Okay. I mean, I no, elevated, but... No shooting over my head, huh? Yes, yeah. there is. There is shooting oh, over your head, but it's it's restricted. And they, we haven't looked at that. It's changed. It's like 12 inches or something. Yeah, it's, it is changed from what it was. Because the big one with that is you can't... There can't be any guys within a certain range of the... Uh, the tar any friendlies within a range of the target. Uh, let's see. Okay, artillery may only fire shot over the heads of friendly troops if the battery is on higher ground. Mm -hmm. Intervening friendly unit must be at least 12 inches away from the front of the firing battery and on lower ground. The friendly unit cannot be anywhere within 12 inches of the target unit. Yeah, it's 12 and 12, so that guy is nowhere near. He's too far too close. Yeah, so I have to ask you to put him over this way. <laughs> Make sure my guns get a, a clear fire. Oh, or he's going to blast holes through your, through your troops to get to the British. <laughs> You can hold these guys back for now. We don't necessarily need to. Holding you back, CT. <laughs> we wouldn't have done that. We and the Allies would not have done that. No. We, we be respect your decisions. We believe in you, CT. We believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> This whip battery is backed up to avoid being go behind the crest because they don't like getting shot at, and they need more space. They don't? No, I go crazy. It's wild. Especially <laughs> enough, I don't think they need to worry about it on this turn. <laughs> There's lots of infantry to shoot at now. Yeah. The targets are the targets have gotten closer. They are multiplying. It's target it's, rich. It's a target rich mm -hmm. environment. I think that's our movement. Unless you have something else you want to do. No, I think uh, that's good. All right, we're over here to the British. British regular movement, please. So, what happens if I get too close to his skirmish line? You make a pull you, back. Well, the, skirmish, if your skirmishers, your skirmishers cannot come any closer than three inches to his. At that point, you enter a handbag stalemate. Okay. Your side's like, yeah, I want to go forward. I want to go forward. But your regular <laughs> guys, your your line infantry, if they move up, the minute they get closer than three inches, these guys have to back up. Proportionately. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, you have to move out. And, uh, you may want to do that. <laughs> no, but, but I'm that... not suggesting that you do that. I'm just letting you know. That but that, that is the rule. <laughs> yeah, and but I... that's what happens. So why yeah. wouldn't I do that? Because... Because you There's would then be right fire? in front of these angry horsemen right here, and who who are fixing to punch, who would be punch, fixing to punch you in the face. Oh, they're horsemen. Okay. What's the uh, charge range? Uh, you're moving a lot range. less than. Okay, that. now, well, let's be clear <laughs> yeah. about something. There is no charge range in this game unless you are on an assault tasking. Right. So it's whatever their 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 movement. movement. It's their movement. So, it, Which, since they're so close, should I be forming square with these guys? Or it's, it's quite possible. You might want to think about it. You don't have to, though. Yeah, <laughs> no, I say that. Like, you, know, you don't have to. I'm not going to make you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not holding a gun to your head or anything. <laughs> Sounds it, like you are. Yeah, he's holding a lance. Holding a lance to your head, yeah. But as you can see in the situation here, Vance, uh, if you form square, of course, it makes you a better target for all those things that are going to be shooting at you. But if you don't form square, I'm gonna get then it's a little more dangerous if you get hit by the cap. However, is that is this still the same as it was in GDA 1? Um, where the... Oh, no, that was... Uh, no, no. Was cavalry that? and line are much worse off against cavalry in GDA 2. They basically... No, no, no. Uh, I'm uh, I'm I'm thinking of the uh, the the column thing where it was there was a mass thing. Even if they lose, they're dead, right? 
Uh, is that right? Yeah. Cal infantry and column do get a bonus still against cavalry, but it's not quite as right. Good as it used to be. No, but you're thinking. Right. He, I think Achilles is thinking of the massed column thing. Yeah, I think which, is, still which is which is no, which is gone. The mass column is, is gone. gone. Yep. Is it gone entirely? Mm -hmm. was still... Nope. It's gone. No, gone. there's four. No, no, there's formed infantry column. Form, a formed infantry column versus down campaign cavalry gets a reroll now. Yeah, it does. No, no, no. But remember, mass column you used to get extra damage if you were in a massed column when you were advancing. Oh, mm -hmm. oh no! He, you're talking about cavalry, I thought. But um, no, I was talking about the the infantry. You're right. I just remembered that when they were in that masked group or whatever in that very first game that we played. Oh it. no, no, yeah, yeah, that's gone. Yeah, okay. So me forming a column with these guys is no better than. No, 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 no. no, no. If if line. yeah, I mean, if if you were to try to stand, if that's your decision, which is risky but can work. Absolutely, you should be in line, I think, because then you get to shoot yeah. at them. Because then you get to shoot them off, maybe. No, it's just a discipline test. Oh, play. that's right. They've changed that. Yep, yep, yep. yep. You either, it's a dis, when they come in, it'll be a discipline test. If you pass it, you form square. If you don't, you fire but unformed, which is not good. And then, oh, well, that, then that they, does, they, come, that's then they close and things get nasty. <laughs> so everything said, everything you guys are telling me is says I should. Jump into square. You should either leave or form square. You should also, let's be clear, get those it, with those horse lurking out there. Get those skirmishers out of there. Because if those cavalry get much closer, they're going to drive them off with casualties. We're looking at that, we're just out of range. I'm really sad about that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're eyeballing them. <laughs> what? Where is that rule? That's what I was looking for. Um, let me find it. I remember reading it. I think it's one of the skirmishers. It's a. It's a bit hid. I'll check 11.2 first. There it is. 11.21, bottom of page 61. Advance or charge by cavalry to within six inches of enemy skirmishers in the open. Horses and skirmishers to immediately withdraw without firing, become unformed, and take one casualty die. Yeah. Casualty. And it's not even a bonus movement. Yeesh. Yeah, and you can't move for the rest of the turn. You're just stuck reorganizing. Now, one thing, Vance, that you can well, do... They, yeah, that, but will the cav will the skirmishers stop the cavalry from charging my infantry? No. No. Okay. no the, 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 now, bear in mind, he can't charge through his own skirmishers, so they got to go. Right. Right. Um, so, so he'll have to... So right now, they can't charge you next turn. Right. There's practice... Yeah, as a, that, no. Maybe. No way. No. No. No chance. Uh-uh. Yeah, his corner's going to clip. Yeah, right, so. exactly. So these guys are boxed for one turn. Right. But if these guys weren't here, the right. minute these guys within six inches, these guys just rabbit, take a casualty as they go, and these guys just keep coming. The cavalry keep going. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, they should know, though, is as soon as these guys get within six inches, of the, six inches of these guys, period. So they're very close to doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. They don't like sticking around with his cavalry around. That's accurate. So basically what you you can start thinking about Vance's uh, preparing for that possibility. Like, for example, if these guys go into these woods, then the cavalry can't charge them in there, right? Correct. That's well, correct. This, my first idea was to move, shuffle these guys this way. Yeah, exactly. You do it. So you that, that's, to, a, but, that's yeah. a prep move. And, it, and you would be able to shoot at them if they go by like if they do charge somebody out here if you're within range you can shoot them as they go by too mm -hmm. so that's another thing to think about right so but where would these guys go back you need to get these guys back. either that or into into the trees into the trees yeah. in the trees are back mm -hmm. and they move 12. 12 they can move 12, 12? and and they don't care about Correct. uh Movement, well, like or, they don't care about direction or tra or terrain, so they can just go twelve. That was right, like... so I could use this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll work. As long as I'm in the trees, they can't. They can't charge you. Horses can't get at me. Right. Of course, you guys means they're now open to being shot at by uh... skirmishers. Yeah, that's true. But that's the price we pay. Right. You take your take your chances. That's the way it goes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, it's pretty obvious as you're looking at it. Oh, and yeah, that's a different group. Okay. Pretty obvious as you look at it that, 
I mean, we don't have a counter to them at this point, except killing them. <laughs> except except that killing them part. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. allies famously suffered from a lack of cavalry here at Quaker Bra. Didn't did impact them quite heavily. Yeah, it did. They're all in the wrong place. So these guys can And move. they are in range of this of these guys right now. Oops. They're in musket range. Well the cat yeah, skirmishers on the way, but yeah. Just gonna have I think they're gonna yeah no. <clears throat> if so you mean these... if if you mean mixed brigade Amelia with um, horse and f foot, there's a huge controversy in GDA because they are a pain to maneuver. GDA two so if... really penalizes mixed brigades. If you move them, it's going to take away from their ability to shoot. No, no, it does not. not. Your... That's changed. Not. Remember? Oh, that's changed. That's right. That's right. We changed that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can move them. If you want to shift them over or something like that, you could do it. Well, I was preparing. trying to shift them. I was going to shift them this way a bit. Then you're going to block my guns. Uh, well, how about? I was trying to get so I didn't have this bounce through nonsense again. Uh, if you get if you get within three inches of the corner of this thing, you block my fire. It's basically the angle right there. As long as you're back beyond that behind that angle, you're fine. Hey Jim, quick question mm -hmm. over here on my side. Mm -hmm. um, is it to wheel? Is it one inch per click or two inches? With per uh, this, it's two per. Okay, that's what I thought. It's an inch per base. Only... Yeah, that's what I thought. So I just wanted to double check. So they can't charge me this turn. They can't charge me next turn because these guys are in the way. Right. So you have two turns. This turn. This turn and a half, basically. You have this turn. Rest of this. So I should stay like this and blast away, and then, then go square. Mm-hmm. That'll work. Mm-hmm. You guys are hesitant, so they're not moving anywhere. My calf. And uh, and as hesitant, they can. They can't move towards the enemy. But they can move backwards? But they can move backwards, mm -hmm. and they can change formation, too. If you were reminded to do that. I'm not suggesting it. I'm just... No, no. It. Yeah. But getting them out of the way of your own horse... This might be a thing, yeah. Bonne nuit, David thing. Brown. Dormez bien. Good evening, Richard Schwab. Just... Grab it. There's a loose tree here. I have made it not loose. No, that's that's CT disguised as a tree. <laughs> <laughs> He's over there spying on our formations. I guarantee it. Happened there. The Great Brunswick sidestep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So how do I get these horses start moving in this direction? You have to wheel them. Yeah. Well, they're hesitant, so they can't they can't go these forward. Horse, anyway. these, those horses are. These horses are not. These horses right. Oh, okay. Right, yeah. Yeah. Have to wheel. Hey. I think it's fun to just click. So you must. Jim, I got to step away for just a minute. Mm -hmm. I'm done though with okay, my moves. Cool. So this wheel grip. is just no 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 back. go back go back yeah that's it but you got to count it count per click one, one two, two there you three, go three four five perfect six. that's it and that's I, six inches off so you got oh, that's six inches yeah you so got another two. twelve uh huh and suddenly there are horsies. I see your lancers and raise you some Dutch hussars. <laughs> That's not really what I had in mind. Yeah. Because you'll notice they're reservist. Just bear that in mind. Yeah, I know. I know. It's 
what I got. <laughs> I'm playing the hand I dealt. I'm dealt, coach. <laughs> Uh, sorry, they die just as easily as everybody else does. Maybe Five, even six, easier. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Why aren't you telling me this? What did I got? Eighteen? Eighteen. Fifteen. Eighteen. Eighteen. So it's. So you have five. Eighteen. Now. Yeah, you're good. No. Just enough. And don't forget to bring oh, yep. Merlin yeah, along. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he's does he just move? Yeah, he's he... got he's got as much movement as all those guys. So. Okay. I mean he doesn't have to, but I also can't imagine why he wouldn't want him to. No no no, yeah, yeah. We do want. Yeah, you may uh, want him in, at the point of contact anyway, because they they do still have that, right? No, it's uh, contact. it's that's actually now a tasking only. You have to demand the glory. Oh, good lord, mm -hmm. man! All these rule changes. <laughs> All these rule changes. As I said, there are about by my count, there's about forty-eight big and small changes. All right, I think that's. Uh... You're all done. All done. All right. uh, you also have reserve movement. And that's where Mike being gone is a bit of a problem. I'm, I'm back. Ah, good. I'm assuming you gave Hulk it to Mike, yeah? Well, we hadn't. Ah, so who's it? who gets that? We hadn't decided. Who gets that whole Alton thing? It's all of this, right? It's the first group. So here's, I think here's the two things, right? This is a large group, but I think a lot of re reservists. All of this. Yeah, yeah, this is not a good brigade. But no, but Bing coming up behind is your is is our best troops, mm -hmm. or elites, yep. but they're not very big. Um, I it doesn't matter to me. Um, I think Vance well, we have to figure out where do you think their biggest efforts are going to be on the. We need on to get right, over here because the I think the... they're coming straight down the center here. Right, does, but the uh, question is, the do you arrive? want eight? Ah. Okay. It'll be a bit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I would so I would. Hack. Achilles, why don't you take these guys and start driving them towards the center? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, where do they come in? They come in right on the road. Right here. Mm -hmm. Right here. Yep. They are marching yeah. in column on that road, one at a time. All right. Uh... How does, that, how does that work? That's just put them on the center and go. Okay. This was a big battle. <laughs> Crazy. There are many. Uh, can they come in like side by side or? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. As long as they don't exceed that nine inches. Nine inches to the front of the formation or mm -hmm. the center? To the front. So there's no way he's going to get them all on. No, that's right. Doesn't matter yeah, what scenario rules, we we almost never get them all on. For... Yeah, because they're it's a giant <laughs> brigade, and you're not going to get them on, so Achilles. Much, don't. So yeah. Oh, I wasn't. I wasn't going to try. I I don't know I why. I don't know why you bothered with that. I just. Wanted to get I don't think you realize the edge. The, the, yeah. the edge That's slope. slope. Like... Yeah. Yeah, I did not know it was a slope. That's right. Because so, he's playing at three hundred feet. Yeah, because he's playing at thirty thousand feet. Yeah. Like any proper commander. Uh huh. Well, exactly. And you also do have those guns. Yeah. Well, they can just stay right where they are at the moment. Then. Okay. 
<clears throat> I mean, I I personally would have no problem if you wanted to stick another two battalions here. Okay. Put the guns on. Get the guns. We need guns out there. <laughs> well, them dudes are going to have to come one after the other, so that'll be it then. Yeah. That's right. Good. There you go. Are those sideways or? No, no. That's the. They are in. They are limbered. Column. Limbered. Yeah, they're okay. in column. Column. They are okay. a, col a limbered gotcha. column, as we say. There. Just making sure. Mm. All right. Spin around. Skirmish fire French. Let's go. All right. Start over here on the right, I guess. On the right, I'm going. Where are you? Gotcha. Got six dice at those boys. Is it not four because you're shooting at skirmishers? Do they not? Uh, let me double check. I thought it was. Let me check skirmish fire. Um, ba -ba -ba. Target of the garrison, target in cover, skirmish tasking, casualties. No, there's no minus for shooting skirm other skirmishers now. Hmm. What came the QRS anyway? My old poor head. My old poor head. By all means, then, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Put one on him again. One. Uh, this one's gonna be nasty, hopefully. Uh, two, one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh. Nine at the gun, at the gun yeah? Mm hmm. Yep. Come on. There we go. That's a lot. It is three. A lot. No double sixes, though. Yeah, didn't get, didn't get that double six. Three casualties on the gun. Mm -hmm. And these boys. Are these guys in cover now? Or are they still out That's of cover? That's cover. Okay. We're going to shoot over here then. <laughs> yep. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Seven. Ooh. Ooh. Again. Two. 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 on them. And that is all my scrimmatures. You got any that can see CT? Can't you shoot? Oh, oh yeah, I've got these guys. Sorry. Oh, yeah, look at that. I get, I get mice one for the cover here. But oh, yeah. Rest. Yeah, that's a, that's pretty much a given. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Four, yeah. I'll shoot these nest hours here. Mm-hmm. Get two. One. Got enough. Yeah, one. Sorry. Two hits. Well, three hits, but we got two. Mm-hmm. Um, I think these guys are still behind the hill, right? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. These guys are... Are know. these guys on the hill with them? No. They're below the slope. They're crashed yeah. there, though. They're crashed. They're kind of like that. And if they were on the hill, it'd be different, but they're not yet. And these guys are... Out of range. It's yeah. six. Yeah. It's got it. Oh, yeah. yeah. They can't see them yet. Okay. Uh, I'll spin around. Yeah, but that's not enough. Okay. You got to see a certain percentage of the unit. That's a dude over there. Uh, so nothing there. So I'm looking for allied skirmishers. Allied skirmishers. There's some. Uh, five. Five back at me. See if Achilles can keep his hot hand up. He does. That's not bad. And that's a skirmish base. Which one do you want? That one? I'll take that one. Gone. Okay. Next. That's it. Oh yeah, they oh, are. Oh, let's. Uh, we we couldn't shoot at them. No, so you I can't see. You yeah, can't no. see them. Yeah, yeah no. That's it. All right, gun, French. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> I believe all the requirements have been fulfilled. That guy is not within twelve inches. Oh yes, he is. He's he is still too close. I'll get shoot this guy then. Isn't he and you're still in your... No, that's three fire? inches. It's three inches in front. Oh, three inches. Three it's in the hand. overhead fire. It's the overhead yeah, fire yeah. part. That guy's fine for that. But that is cover. Let me see. Let me see. Surely that takes you to a uh, an inferior, inferior volley. Yeah. Yes. Inferior fire. That's it. Yeah. Two on the inferior line. Eight. And eight. That's one. That's one. No bouncer, I don't think. I shouldn't think. Uh, yeah. Why not? Okay. Setting bounce. Yeah. <laughs> Bouncing through the trees. Got another one. Uh, 
as a matter of fact, let me think about that's, something. That that's valid. I'm just trying to think of something. Okay, keep going. You can fire through skirmishers, but you're only gonna get one CD. But you might as well use it. Yeah, hit their guns. Let's go for the guns. Mm -hmm. You only get one CD, but you know. Yep. And to, to, just to explain to Vance why, it's because they moved and unlimbered. The way the system works, you start out with two dice on the regular volley line, then you drop to an inf or a, a battery, then you drop to inferior, and then you drop to just rolling one CD. So just one? Yeah, one die. Got him. Mm-hmm. And that means he has a counter battery. <laughs> yeah, this guy now has to shoot at CT. Oh, really? Yep. The, it's the only. It's one of the few places where you're compelled to fire. You have to counter battery if a gun hits you and does damage. Uh, any other guns? French variety. Uh, all other guns are moving or limbered or yeah. not here. Spin. Allied guns. This one here. We've only got one that can shoot. So. And that tasking, so it's got to go counter battery, and it's going to go... And it's loaded for bear. That thing is loaded yes, he's for bear. Assault fire, yeah. We're going to get two extra CD. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're going to get that... Uh, is it just a... It's a single CD, isn't it? It's two. A, I thought it was two. It's two. Oh, two. yeah, it is. Ooh, mercy. So, yeah, and that's effective range, correct? It should be, yeah. Uh, yeah, 19, yeah. Yeah, effective range... With an extra two CD, yep. Go for it. A nine. That's not good. Nine is nine is not nine. desirable. Oh it's, oh, it's two. Two in a discipline test. Ooh, and now with the CD, please. The two CD, I should say. Oh, it's two CD. Uh huh. It's plus two, right? Yeah, yep. he gets. Well, he gets two extra CD. Yeah. Ooh. Dang, Ooh. Yeah. That's not good. He did hit me for eight. You want, for eight. You want, to, for you want to shoot at me again? He, he hit him. He hit him for. He hit you for two, and then he got for four there. I don't. Where was that? Oh, I know what it was. It's because it's what I copied. Um. So that's not at a negative, but that is a discipline test for CT. Now, discipline test. First time we're having it. Most of the time, your discipline test needs a seven. It's a little better if you're elite. It's a little worse if you're not, and it also has damage. This is a straight seven. I'm assuming on 2d6? Yes. Yep. <laughs> no. <laughs> this dice roller is all funky now. You have to roll a d4 and get a 7. What'd you do? <laughs> yeah. What'd you do to my dime? Oh, dear. All right. It That's goes bad. unformed, <laughs> which is undesirable, although not the worst thing for a gun, to be honest. You get rid of that by not moving for a turn. Deal. <laughs> yeah. Right. So that was what about shooting? Can I still shoot? You will be able to shoot, but that will be a demerit to your shooting. Yeah, it'll be okay. sorted by then anyway. Yeah. And be... keep in mind, CT, you can actually kill your own gunners. Yes. How How is that? By rolling what? low enough. Yep, you roll low enough. You cause fatigue and, and casualties. It, yeah, so if you get wow. like all those minuses and everything, and it's an inferior thing and all that kind of stuff, and you roll low, you you hurt your own. Basically, gunner. if you roll a four or less, you take a fatigue casualty. We 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 we, a CD, we refer one. to this as the Matt rule. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Matt was singularly Matt did more damage to his own guns than Achilles or than uh, the French did. Then, yes, exactly. Ouch. He just he destroyed his own battery. <laughs> it was a cunning plan. Uh, I don't think OJ's got any shots. No, so. I don't. Not artillery. All right, no. yeah. Any volley fires? Any volleys? Yes. Well, yes. You, you don't get to go yet. French get to go first. Oh, that's oh. not what you said. <laughs> I said any. That's, if you don't. You said any. <laughs> uh, I can see into the woods, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can see six, you can see six inches in. Yeah. So, so that's. Let's take my one CD shot. I can't get any worse. Yeah. <laughs> well, but you can go involuntary. I'm just saying. Right, yeah, we'll find out. I missed, but nothing else happened. Right. Okay. I think that's all my volley fire. 
because no one, everyone else is. Uh... CT, you got any? Uh, I don't think. No, I can't see anybody. All right. All right, British, you seemed very eager. Achilles, what do you got? Um, actually, I don't know if this is in range or not. Is it? it it's not. Uh, looks like. Yep, just out. What is the range? Nine. 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 But I never Set, trust my measurements. And it's centered and nearest. <laughs> yeah. Which is there. Centered and nearest, so I can, yep. I can shoot those guys? Yep, but you I have can't to. shoot the cavalry. But Correct, you have to. Yeah, well, okay. yeah, you have to shoot. At yeah, skirmishers? You have to shoot at skirmishers, um, which means you're going to fire... It's an inferior volley. It's an inferior volley when one shoots at skirmishers. Roll, and this is another place where you can lose a thing called fire discipline. Uh, 2d6. Does this happen? Hurt no, no, you got to get to Not 6. Yet. you got to get to 6 for that to be a problem. 2d6? Yep. yep. Eight. And 8. Two. No, nice. There'll be one on Fury Volley. In Fury Volley is. Oh, it's an eight. Sorry. I don't. What I was it looking at? I will take some base, right? Yeah. But still. That's a, that's a good choice. I think. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. Yeah. <laughs> and these guys can shoot at them, too? Uh, yeah. I would say so. Same, 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 same deal, yeah. Do they, are they shooting through cover as well? Nope. Or no. Mm -mm. Uh, okay. Oh, four. That's and fire that is the loss of fire discipline. Really? Yep. He has rolled Jeez. poorly. You have rolled poorly. <laughs> womp, womp. Uh, so what I need to do to get rid of this? All right, so the deal is these guys cannot move until they get rid of this, and the only way to get rid of it is by sitting there and not shooting. So they stand still for a turn. Yep. As their as their commanders go walking past them, thumping them upside the head. Smack in the face. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Joe J. What you got? Yep. I think I, I can't. Go no, no. You got to shoot that skirmisher. Yep. 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 These okay. guys obviously have one CD to throw against this. These mm. guys. Yep. And I think a one will make you lose fire discipline. Correct. Yep. Also. We'll take. We'll take the shots. On the left. Hit. Mm -hmm. A smoke. I don't know why I play smoke. <laughs> I need one of these. Smoke? Where? Smoke? Wow. Yes. Yep. Smoke. Yeah, smoke. Smoke. You rang. Yeah. Uh, and now second battalion. Same deal. Oh, yes. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> Hurting me. Killing me, Smalls. And third? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh! Nice. nice. And a base. Which one? Smoke and a uh, I'll take uh, this guy. Quickly whittling down that sucker. That's all I got. All right. And there's that was. That's it. That's it. Yeah. What time do we got? Oh, we're doing well. This takes us to uh, turn three. Self destruction not changed. That's right. Fancy you get hard stuff at ten. Yeah. Yeah, we got 40 minutes. Yeah, we got another turn. Yeah, yeah. You got a nice got turn. turn. All right, that's, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. it I, is, I, I, it is turn the third. Six and six, please. Six and six. Yeah. Ooh, well. Ooh, yeah. Three with a reroll for Chrono. And four with a reroll for Vance. So four for Chrono. Five for Vance. Uh, we'll do Vance first. Five, please. Look at that, five markers right there. No, I got these two guys up here. There you go. Okay. Place them where you, where you would, sir. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, uh, all hesitants come off. Hesitants come off. You want to keep uh, blasting away with your artillery, or Achilles? It's up to you, man. Do you want me to leave them in place because they're going to die if I keep them there for too long? Well, just bear in mind, I mean, and look, this is not a secret, okay? This guy is about to charge. Mm-hmm. 
But he can't charge through the skirmishers. Yeah, ain't no skirmishers there no more. You shot him. He, right here. He can no, come. No, no, no. Yeah, he can come straight this way. Whole line of skirmishers right. here. He's but coming. Like, he's he's not line. charging the gun. He's charging this way. So yeah, no, so understood. so plan just... accord. So plan accordingly. I'm guess is what I'm saying. Right. We were just yeah. pointing out that there's skirmishers between the guns and the cavalry, so the cavalry can't charge the guns. <clears throat> that's true. That's true. That's, that's, right. that's that was our point. Okay. Is... And the, the the guns are what we're talking about at the moment. So. Yeah, but those guns, those guns, it's up oh. to you. Those guns can shoot those horse when they come in, is my point. Yes. Yes, they can. My question is, uh, if he puts a tasking on uh, on the guns, yep. will that uh, benefit their shooting yep. the cavalry? If they, if they don't go hesitant, that, yes. If they don't go hesitant, right. Yeah, that's what I wanted to know. Yeah. So I'm going to give you that because I want you to protect my ass. <laughs> And this guy is extra, so he... Let's look something up, Chrono, because I think Matt said in the chat that you don't lose that anymore. Assault fire tasking? Yeah. Uh, Maybe. I, I don't... I feel I, like that would be a big change, but... <laughs> you think? I do think so. Anyway, what I was sure saying Chrono. before, Vance, is... Um, those guns are are going to be in a precarious position eventually, and yep, they've already taken four hits. So, personally, I'm willing to sacrifice their existence where they are to just keep doing damage until they're no longer there. Because yep. pulling them out of there, then they're not going to do anything to anybody. But no, I agree with I agree with that. So we'll just keep loading you up and and blasting away. Okay. Uh, let me tack the task in the rule book. Yeah, it, it. I think it's. I think he's right. I don't. Uh, uh, six three. Six yeah. Three. And we'll give a tasking to our our, our uh, cab the, again. Yeah, it doesn't fail. I don't think it fails anymore. People. Oh, batteries of former casualties may not assault fire. Say so again. Batteries oh. Have... Oh yeah. Well, okay. So if you have four or more casualties, you can't assault fire. So. Oh. So it it's I got good news and I got bad news. It would not have lifted on failure. That's they that is a change. What but does that mean? It means that they once you're on assault fire, they don't lose it until Ah, so they got their do their assault fire last turn even though they got to four. Yeah. Well no, what I was no, what I was talking no, about in GDA one if you give an assault fire if you gave an assault fire tasking and then failed your role in the and he went hesitant you would lose that tasking. That's gone now. So even if I had gone hesitant, he still would have got to the extra. So I didn't need to be giving him this, is what you're saying. I mean, no, no, no. You, you still could. You can, so because you may not, it. because the other issue is, if a brigade goes hesitant, it can only shoot in a bowling alley. Right. It restricts your firing arc much more. So you might still want to do that. There, there are okay. reasons to do that. But so now I can't give him the assault tasking, right? Yeah, you can't. But he can still shoot at the cavalry coming in. Yep, yep. Yes. Because I'm giving him that, so he doesn't go hesitant on me. Yeah, yeah. So if he goes hesitant, it doesn't matter. He'll be able to shoot him no matter what. It's just yeah, yeah. It's he won't be able to shoot him at canister range. Whereas if I give him, if he doesn't go hesitant, he can shoot him at canister. Range. Yep. Yeah, because he'll be angled yes. off this way. Because mm -hmm. the cavalry command stop right about here. So. Yep. That'll be canister. And that. It's actually it's even closer than that. It's here. And that charge happens before these guys get a chance to form square. Well, no. What'll happen? Yeah. The the way that G, gonna, you've you've never gonna, seen this before, but what happens yeah, in GDA two is the two units get brought close to each other, and then the game system decides. Okay, this guy is charging. How does the other guy respond? Right. Oh, okay. One well, of the few games I've seen that sort of try to resolve, have a separate phase resolve the moment of decision of psychological decision. Right. It's, it's, it's actually a really cool mechanism. You're gonna love it, Vance. <laughs> I don't okay, know. good. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun to watch. It's a uh, little simpler for infantry in that situation, but. Hey, Vance. So now I've got yeah. One here on. Uh... 
Hulk it. We need oh, to, to keep him moving? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we don't want him missing a move. Yeah, we want him to keep right moving. Mm -hmm. That leaves me with one more. Mm -hmm. You already gave your cavalry one, right? I gave my cavalry one. Okay. I gave these guys one because they're trying to spread out a bit. Mm hmm. Any suggestions for last? Um, Hang on, you got some. You want one? Oh, never mind. Never mind. No, do you have do you have that scouting thing too? I e do not. Everybody's got scouting. Oh, All God's okay. children got scouting. Well, you can yeah, give. So uh, you can I don't give have Wellington the proper. The... Hmm? You can give Wellington the scouting. Yeah, give Wellington that. scouting, and he gets to re-roll on the initiative. Do we want the initiative? Why wouldn't we? We want to shoot first. Yeah, now, now we do. Yeah. Yeah. Because that gives us the first shots. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Okay. Yep. Yep. Then we will give Wellington the scouting. All right. Karanu. Okay. Pass him out. I got four. So. Four. You have four. I'll give one to Bowden over here. Uh huh. Uh, give one to Jamin. Did you? Uh... Do you actually have one? I gotta be able to see it because I'll get confused otherwise, Grana. All right, I'll put it over there. And now uh, Jamal oh, got it. Two, last two. Oh, this is rough. Um, I think okay. it's supposed to be. I know. <laughs> it's supposed to. I like uh, actually. This is a very cool uh, command want and to control. Mm -hmm. You want to watch the One Wathier yeah. gets one. Yeah, and I'll put one over here. All it's right, a very right. cool uh, command and control. Uh, it is. It really is. It's a. It's some fun, terrifying choices. Well, he's he's out here in the weeds. Can't be for two. All right. Uh, one sec. I sent you a note, CT. Oh. Yeah, and it's simple and elegant though, too, right? Oh yeah. He's good. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna rock and roll. Huso. I see that. I see that Achilles. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's has. Oh dear. Fortunately, he's not going anywhere this time. <laughs> he had no immediate plans. Huber. For one. Huber. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. A lot of hesitancy. Uh, let's see here. Who is Jammin Jammin? Uh, I gave him two, so it's fine. Now. You did, yeah. Mm -hmm. He is. Ooh. Cool. Just. Just. Uh, I should have the battery, too. Oh, yeah, let's do that battery. He's good. Mm -hmm. Now let's go up here. Two for Wathie. Kind of consequential. He's good. Yeah, no problem at all. He is uh, like a hound at the slips. Got the air for one. He's good. And uh, Soye for one. Mm -hmm. And way over here, Baudin for two. Mm -hmm. we, have, we do have two Hessens, so, so not the yeah, best, but yeah. the worst. Yeah, then some critical ones stayed in play, so. Violent for one. He's good. Mm -hmm. Looking around. Way back here to Halkett. Halkett. Oh, that's, that's my package, right? Yeah, these uh, reinforcements. Yep. Yes. <clears throat> How about cram for one? Nope. nope. I got uh, Merlin for two. It's good. Mm -hmm. Creeping around in here for Specht for one. Good. Creeping around for Butler for two. Two. Good. Ooh, need it. <laughs> yeah, seems like you might have needed that. I'm gonna pull out over here and say, uh, is it pack? Is it pack? No. So, uh, where's? Oh, we still got uh, Fun Raiden. There we go. Fun Raiden for one. Ah, Fun Raiden. Oh, for one. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Now uh, pack for two.
Yes. Kempt for one. He was unkempt last turn. Hmm. <laughs> How about this turn? Well, let's see if he kempt himself. He kempt himself. Yes. He is he is re kempt. Yes. All right, that's it. Uh, we haven't missed anyone, have we? I think we're good. So we uh, find two each way, no, or just one on the British one. side. One. Yeah, two to one. So the British will roll three, the French will roll four. Four. Now, Vance, you had a scout. You may re-roll that one. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah, that that, that, paid that paid the bills. <laughs> so that uh, well done there. That scout paid the bills. So we take the British aid to camp away from Nosy, and the British have initiative. Any British charges? Um. Well, yeah. What do you think about that, Vance? Because I'm thinking. You could charge him before he charges you. Well, these guys can't charge. No, no, no. But you can. No, he can't see him. From here? This guy cannot see these guys. And they're not in range to know they're there. And I don't think you can charge to your own dudes anyway. I thought you could. There's a number. Yeah, there, there are several questions. You certainly cannot charge through skirmishers. Can you charge yeah. what you... Yeah, you can't charge what you can't see unless you're within nine inches. Ah, okay. Never mind. It was so a I thought. can't charge either of those guys? No, you cannot. The way the rule works, it's assumed that by the time you get within nine inches, you know what's there. So you, you, can, you can charge. I still don't know if you can charge through your own form troops. I know you can't charge through your own skirmishers. So there's at least one thing here that's absolutely prohibitive. Can I charge here and scare no, his skirmishers? Nine, uh, you can pr you can move there in the turn depending on where they are because you're going to have move initiative uh, yep. when you get to within six of his skirmishers. So if you just clear when past your there, own guys, they'll have they to they'll have to they'll rabbit. Go. They'll have to they rabbit go. and take damage. Yep. The point is he's going to charge before that. He may be that. there already. Yeah, yeah, he might be there already. Uh, that would lead us to ask the question, can you charge through your own form troops? And we'll have to look that up. Mm -hmm. Charges. I just saw it. I just saw it. Charges. See Chapter 8. Chapter 8 is charges. <laughs> and remember Vance. Well, yeah. Never mind. Yes? Don't speak up. Yeah, remember, no, no, no. he was to remember something. Speak up. Remember, remember <laughs> what I'm not going to tell you. All I was going to say, all I was going to say is, don't park any cavalry in here. Why? Because if these guys, if your infantry has to form score, they have to have room to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh no! I mean, if if those guys don't charge this time, you know then you won't have to worry about it because you can just put these right. guys in front. Oh, put the, the cavalry there, yeah. You, you can, if you put cavalry here in front, then you're mm -hmm. kind of blocking his charge anyways. You're sacrificing your cavalry. Yeah, but these yeah. guys yeah, are going to charge you, before I can move. And just importantly... Unless I can charge important. just to open space. No, you can't. You have to charge a unit. Okay. But but the, I mean, yeah, the advantage of a move up here is obvious. Yes. I mean, it, it pushes... Those right. It's rid of these guys. Brings away and it yep. blocks. It gets in front of his cavalry. But it's me but because he's going to charge before them. Yeah, Cradle. I don't know about these you, guys, but I, I see are, nothing prohibiting are... from charging those guys. Yeah, fair enough. Isn't it... I mean, I, if you can I... see them, I mean, the main issue is, I mean, the main, really the main issue is you have to be able to see them. So unless you're within nine inches, as twelve inches, there's really no. You really yeah, can't. that's true. You can't charge them unless you're within nine, and you're not. Well, 12, so. yeah, oh, within 12. nine? Somebody... Is it twelve? It's 12 now, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. They made it somebody, in, somebody in the chat just saying that you can't charge through your own form troops. Yeah, well. Okay, where where where, where does it? Yeah, that? where does it say, Todd? You don't don't just say that. You got it. You got to. That makes that makes sense. It does. Yeah, it, it does. I, I'm it just I'm just sense. trying to find it. I I makes perfect sense, but mm -hmm. you're gonna have to tell me where that is. <clears throat> Because I'm trying to find, because truthfully, I can't find the uh, the skirmisher piece. Because the following, you know, you can't you can't charge a hesitant faltering brigade can't charge. Unformed units can't charge. Charging units must be able to reach base to base contact. Uh, they may charge if flanked, but if they lose, that's not it. 
uh, cost that's so badly formatted. Uh, What's reach? Reach? Sorry, do, you must be able to reach base to base contact. You have to be able to hit what you're charging. Yeah. Right. Cossacks may not declare good. frontal charges. Um, that's it. Now I cannot, I will admit, find the one about. I know it's the case. You can't. Um, you can't charge through in skirmishers. That was in the facts or the. Yeah. No. No. But no, it's no, it's in the rules. The it's in the rules somewhere. I've read it before. Well, also, I, I didn't hear you say anything about the whole twelve-inch thing. That's yeah. That's that. That is also. Where is that, Chrono? Uh, I just because read as long as he it. could, uh, as long as he could reach eight point oh point two line of sight to target page thirty-six. Thank you. I'm. I'm just. I'm. I. I certainly believe you. I'm hoping that this rule that we're looking for is there. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I haven't been able to find it either. But I mean, since they can't charge us anyway, because not within twelve inches, we might as well look for it. And yeah, the go. charging unit does not need a line of sight if they are charging a unit that is within twelve inches. So that's key. Um, okay. I can't even charge these guys because they're too close. Not close enough. But what counts as blocking line of sight? Does, does center to center. Unit? Yeah, your formed units will block line of sight. Yeah, it's... Which uh, also makes sense. Yeah. So yeah, it's sure it's moot it there as far as that goes. We'll find it. We'll find what that rule is. All right, so you cannot charge these guys because of line of sight at least. How's that? At the very least, yes. Yeah, so any L any British charges? That would be my only attempt, so no. All right. Yeah. French. Uh, uh. Char so, infantry charges? Sure. What if these guys well, charge well, this line why would you? Why would you want to do that? I mean, they can if they want to. <clears throat> Isn't there, is there some kind of rule about how if you're within a certain distance of cavalry, you can't like form square or whatever. That's too? GTA one. That's GTA one. Oh, is, is it? it? Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, you're not gonna. You don't. Re you're not gonna be able to reach the horse. You only go six. So you, you could you, you could charge the skirmishers. The problem is these guys are gonna hit you no matter what you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the skirmishers are the only thing keeping that other group from getting to yep, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't want both of them hitting you. Well, they can't. Only one can come. Yeah, don't want pride support. So, well, can the other one go through its skirmishers in order to get the support range? Well, it will. It'll. It, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, this guy can't support. That's true. Because he wouldn't be able to get there. Right. Exactly. Right. We declare. Yeah. Charges. So we don't. We don't want to free that up. So yeah. yeah. Never mind. That's okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure. Yeah. No, it's a fair question. All right. French charges. Uh, CT. Uh, no. Okay. After all that, <laughs> no charges. All the, thank oh. you, CT. <laughs> Man, you made us go through all that. You sitting there knowing the whole time. <laughs> You're not going to charge. Son of a gun. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> yeah, we heard our chat. We were just saying. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, man. Hey, Doug, Doug, I, I understand what you're saying. I'm asking for the rule. You understand my point, you see. Uh, all right, well, that takes us to British movement. British have the move. We just, we just were like, let's, let's knock a canister in the flying so, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That That's a fair point, too. Yeah, uh, um, sounds, sounds reasonable. No. <laughs> I think it's reasonable, too. <laughs> My Lancers definitely think it's reasonable. <laughs> They're like, oh, thanks. Thanks, boss. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you guys thought ADC was sent up there to tell us to charge. It was really sent up there. Hey, hold back just a little bit. Don't get canistered into flag. <laughs> oh, thank God. It's not talking about Brigade. <laughs> <Thank God. laughs> well, you never know what kind of crazy things the commandologist is going to do over there. The so. commandologist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so, uh, but We're yeah, a hybrid it, being now. it is a hybrid being. <laughs> Fear us. <laughs> <laughs> Not since vision, right? Um, all right, but no, it's the, uh, it is the British move. We are moving. Movement is all right. So, so after some of all us are moving. Uh-huh. Some, some of us may or may not be moving. <laughs> 
So, Achilles. Yes, sir. Since you have quite adroitly kept them from charging me. Indeed. I don't. Should I bother forming square? We're still um, here. <laughs> yeah, still we have, we haven't left. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, hey, as long as they can't charge you, then well, they can why charge bother? Me. I can they charge can. you. We just did not. You chose, decided chose not, not to. We just chose not to. Is the key point here? It's different. I I don't see any reason to do so because you're going to be I able to move either. before they do, and you can move your cavalry up. So why go into square? I that's what Maybe. I was thinking. Yeah. I mean, just bring your cavalry up. The only thing is, is if he brings his cavalry up, is he going to block you from shooting with your artillery? No, Probably. I'll make sure mm -hmm. that they're... Not if he brings target. them up, you know, not if he brings them up, like, up in here. Depends on what his target fine. is. So he can go up here and uh, and chase those skirmishers away. My thoughts exactly. <clears throat> that is, if you want to charge, if you want to uh, drive those skirmishers away. Also, by coming up here, he's got to do something with these guys because he can't let these guys get caught like that. Because the next turn, the same way, be right? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. The kind of forces I'm all him, done with forces my moves, hand. by the way. <clears throat> all right, so these guys have to go back. Uh, let me find the rule. I don't think they test or anything. I think they just leave. For which? Infantry? For, no. Um, Cav? For the skirmishers. Yeah, coming up close. It's... No, they got to just go and they take a 1d6. Yeah, and they're unformed for the rest of the turn. Yep. So you roll a ca you you hit them with a uh, casualty die. I do. Yep. Yep. Nope. Nope. But they are unformed. And they're stuck there for the rest of the turn because that was their move. They just enjoyed their move. Oh, look at this. Look at all this. Don't go so there. So where am yeah. I blocking your site? <laughs> um, what is it? What? Oh, it's it's okay as long as you're outside of that. Okay, I just I'm trying to get three inches away. Well, it's, it's only within three inches of the corner. No, 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 I just put his oh, okay. cannon. Yeah, 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 I see what you're saying. Yeah, never mind. But I don't think I can, so. <laughs> These guys are hesitant, so they can't do anything. My puppies make that same noise. <laughs> <laughs> Big sigh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So these gents are standing around trying to get their shit together. <laughs> That's right. Yes, they are. <laughs> so at the end of their turn, at the end of this turn, they get their... That, Got their collective shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. As long as they don't move, they're good. They're not moving, and they can't fire. Right. So. Exactly. It's like, guys, guys, what are you doing? Come on. Are these guys able to form a line in the bush here? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Hmm. Like, can I bring this back to here? You form no. You have to form on your center. So you got to form on that guy. You could just form, form off on that side. guy. Yeah. yeah. Todd. Todd. Todd, stop oh. saying things and give me a line. I'm killing myself. I can't find it. Quit saying things. You must. You can't just say things. Well, these guys buggered off too, did they? Yeah. yeah That's our job, Todd. Just yeah. say things. 
Yeah. <laughs> I believe you well, parent. I, I believe you parenthetically. I just. I mean, these guys won't stand up in a cav battle, but. It's all right. They're gonna get hammered. Oh, that's right. And this is. Oh, here we go. There it is. Why this is here? I don't know. This is a big demerit to me. Here we go. Here's the answer to the question. It is nine five four one nine point five point four point one. Number one, and this is something we may not have been careful enough about. You cannot interpenetrate within nine inches of the enemy. Oh, so that oh. not happen. Then. This may not happen then, because I skirmishers are like right up here. No, no, no. Uh, f uh, form tr uh, as long as no enemy well, units. Can. Yep, yep, yep. Can't happen. All right. These guys gotta go back then. Except that, time out though. <laughs> they get to within ten <laughs> inches. They get to within ten inches before they get to within nine inches. And the minute they get to within that nine inches, you gotta go. Yep, it's six inches for skirmishers. Is it six for the bugger off? It's six for bugger off. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then yep, doesn't happen. Put them back. <sighs> Cavalry cannot charge through friendly skirmishers. They're not charging. You no, 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 this is different, Vance. Just put it all back. All right. Units may charge Move through away. deployed art. Units may charge. They may not charge through any other units. There it is. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. 9.5.4.1. Huzzah. So, right. so they can go through deployed artillery and skirmishers. Infantry okay. oh. may charge through skirmishers without effect. If units charge through deployed what? artillery, the artillery is unformed. But I have to get I have to get my my cavalry within. Oh, so Chron these guys uh, are are Chrono? farther than nine inches, hey, yeah. farther than twelve inches. No, no, but you got to get these guys. Oh, that's a point. Yeah, you're going oh, to interpenetrate. Yeah, to he's right. Guys. Yeah, but at the point of interpenetration, you're within nine inches. No, these guys. Yeah, they can, get, they can get up to here. Yeah, they can get up to here. Yeah, not, sure. Get to here. I can, right. I can get further than that. I'm not going that way. Go where you, show me I where just you're going. Straight. Show me where you're going. Straight this way. Okay. okay now you're blocking the artillery. Yep. That's yeah, fine. Okay. Okay. So now they right, bugger off. To. Yes. And now they bugger off and take no damage. And those bugger off. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. There you go. Perfect. That works. Mm hmm. There you go. Uh, oh. Well, I guess it does. It's a moot point now. I was going to tell you, Chrono. I actually moved these guys up a little bit. So, yeah, I was detecting the range because, like, I know they were in range when they got there. So it does. It, yeah. it, it's moot at this point. <laughs> I know you said it, but you didn't cite it. Don't say it. Cite it. Those are the rules. But you can't give them three unless you're charging. If you want to be. See, usually we have Matt, who plays the uh, GDA has. If you want to be GDA has, chapter and verse or nothing. Because otherwise, we go crazy. Is Crump. that okay, Connell? Uh, that should be, yeah. Not, not we, <laughs> you. Unless you are Matt, no. in which case you just make up rules. and then Yeah, Matt just makes up stuff as he goes. No, it made, it drives Chrono crazy, too, because I know he tries to find them diligently. No. I want, I want no detection, so I can look at it myself. Oops. Why? What are you doing? What are you doing with my garrison? He's touching it. Trying to grab my horse. Don't be touching my garrison, man. <laughs> oh man, horsey fight. So that achieves that achieves the same thing. It does, but it did it differently. Positioning, this, positioning it, is different though, which matters. <laughs> it did it. Well, this is the thing: is can these guys charge past this to this, or do they have to go to? The no, next? he's got to go there. They must charge the nearest form troops. That's what I thought. And if they are and... cavalry within range, cavalry has to test to see if they have to. They go off carrying after the enemy cavalry. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. And you've left your guys unblocked so that they can fire. Correct. Mm -hmm. No. That guy's clearly blocking this guy. I can't bowling alley. No, no. Uh... Say what? That's, how, that's how it's written, so that's how we've been playing it. <laughs> yeah, we've been we've been playing it. That God it's damn it. yeah. Sorry, we, it, the word is in front of, and it's not clarified. And we've you got we'll wait get, for the FAQ. We'll wait for the FAQ, but yeah, that's what we're 
further than that. You're not you're you're not going to be able to get them far enough. Don't worry about it, Vince. Basically, we treat, if, you're, if you're within three inches and inside your front firing arc, we're, we're treating that as in front of, because mm -hmm. that seems to be the only real, what, good way to interpret it. That's a very odd rule. No, it makes perfect sense. I love that rule. That rule stops really? stupidity. Yes. There is no way, no way a Napoleonic line troop... Remember, these guys are stretched out over... Oh, God, I used to be able to do this off the top of my head. 80 yards? Sure. The, the, it, with these guys rumbling around, they're not shooting. They're just not. Not if they're within three inches. Anyway. <laughs> scale. Uh, well, scale. 80 yards to three inches is quite the change. Stop yeah. it. Oh. oh, you know, but what you can do, Vance, is you could you could change their facing slightly. Well, you could wheel and them. Then... Yeah, if you wheel them. Yeah, yeah. No, they've, they've already shuffled sideways. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, oh. they've Never already mind. moved. Okay. Never mind then. Any other British movement? Uh, no, because you keep telling me I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you told me no. It's, ter it's terrible. It's terrible. Yeah, it's, it's just... Quit, uh, quit are reading. Are going to do rules. anything with these skirmishers? Yeah, they're going to stay Those... right where they are. All right. They're not out protecting people. They are. They're protecting their unit. Their unit's behind them. <laughs> you said unit. Fine. Fine. Hey, Achilles. Were you going to yeah. bring on those other troops? That you can oh, yeah. Did you do? Night? Yeah. Oh, bring on the rest of this. I, I forgot happened. there was... I was... Wow. Wow. What a... Man, OJ doing the Lord's work for the British over there. Holy cow. Yeah, did you move these guys? Yes. No. I already you moved know, all of those guys. I was just okay. an enlisted guy in the military. I... I... Can't question my officers. I see. <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, no. I, I thought they had to move in like a special phase or something. No, no. Uh, I thought they had did have to come on the reserve phase. Nah, because they're they're already okay. here. Okay, got it. Yeah, I guess I thought it was because the unit the, the unit was already. On yeah, that so that is exact. That's exact. To bring them all the, the reserve phase thing is kind of broken for us because because we yeah. don't use it the way the rules intend. Because he's got this idea that there's variable arrivals, and we allow that to be in the scenario. You're not questioning your your officer, OJ. You're just poking him, giving him a poke. An officer who doesn't NCO. listen to his staff and his NCOs is a bad officer. So exactly, every NCO should be allowed to poke his officer at least once a day, <laughs> and God knows they will. Yeah, <laughs> once, once a day, or you. once every half a day. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm going to put 9.5.4.1 in the must-remember rules. Because as everybody said, it made perfect common sense. The rule is a good rule. I like it. It makes sense. Oh, I, just, no, yeah. I couldn't find it. Form through a yeah. formation of troops. <clears throat> I mean, not without brushing a few shoulders. Mm -hmm. All right. British done? Yep. French, sure. please. French, please. <laughs> Sure, we are. <laughs> sure. Vance has uh -huh. eight minutes before he goes to sleep. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's before my wife goes to sleep and I need to be quiet. Uh, Excellent. So thing. we can abuse Vance in those few minutes because <laughs> he can't say anything. There you go. <clears throat> <laughs> the Leger over here. Well, can they move into the woods? Not that they're in there. Yeah, yeah. Hung out. Okay, no. Well, yeah. They're, 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 they're in skirmish heat for me. Right. Yeah, they're all open. They're all open. So they go 12. Mm -hmm. Without worrying about terrain. Uh, let's see over here. Oh, yeah. That... Um... I assume this is still in GDA too. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, Vance, there. If you wanted to move these guys faster, you can give them a tasking that adds to their movement. Yes, so it's called move. forward. Mm -hmm. Right. Forwards. Uh, forwards. Forwards. The only. Add four D six. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. So that's it's it, actually uh, that has changed in GDA two. <laughs> no, it's actually more generous, I think. <laughs> it's it's uh, a rule I can actually now, remember. So it's actually it's yeah, it's six <laughs> inches plus two D six. So oh, you get wow. a guaranteed that's... six inches. Ah, uh, okay. Because this, yeah, this is 46 yeah, centimeters, 3D6. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, it, it gets some of the variability out of it, I guess. Yeah, is, yeah. That, is, that, um, is that in addition to their standard move? Or yes, is that just that's cool? six yes. inches plus 2D6 of additional move. Man, that's nice. Plus the regular move, yeah. Yeah, the only catch is they can't shoot. Right. Yeah, well, they got nothing to shoot at. So. That's fair, <laughs> but I'm just saying. You know. Don't but want yeah, you to get to the end of the move. We we would only need that if if they were in a hurry to get there, and right now they're not. So, well, yeah. If we have any extra tasking, because you know we always have extra. Sure. Well, we never really have extra. You could give nobody every ever brigade. has extra. No, yeah, I was gonna you say give every brigadier <laughs> one, and that way we're not rolling just one die for anybody. You know, exactly to avoid those hesitancies. <clears throat> Oop, he's crashed into the trees. Guys are pointing up. Oh, I see, I see that. I'll try and fix that. <laughs> that's usually like a, caused. Like that is no. Like that's usually kind of collider. There. Yeah, there's a. That's usually caused by a loose tree. Man, those loose trees. There it is. Hey, hey. CT's moving his tree. His horse is back. Imagine that. Imagine that. And nobody even touched him. I mean, yeah. come on. What's up with that? CT's going to put a bunch of smoke in front of him so you can't see him. <laughs> so to charge, it has to be directly forward-ish? Nope. No, you, you may oblique. Wheel. You oblique and you can wheel, but I thought wheeling eats into your movement, so... Yep. Say that again? Wheeling, wheeling eats into your movement. It counts. The wheeling yeah, counts okay. against you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, these guys, these guys are now formed. So I guess that. I think they will count as moved, which is the only problem. No, no, it doesn't matter. Come on, OJ, you got to tie up that uh, left flank. Bylands, yeah, Bylands sure guys are not enthused. <laughs> This is three turns in, and they are coming. Ryan, doing our best. Oh, we did our movement already, right? They so did. We did. Yeah. We, we we did, did also because we were first, right? Yes. Yes. What were you looking for? So, I was just thinking, was this guy hesitant? This turn. Yeah. Yep. Oh, this turn? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, I, was, I wanted him to go forward, too, but he's not. Okay. <clears throat> we might get up there and cause some havoc. Well, I uh, know yeah, you're it. really jamming up traffic over here, man. <laughs> I know. I'm doing my best. Vance, Vance is famous for causing havoc with his horse. Uh, yep. Thinking oh, of well, Waterloo. Yeah. Was it Waterloo? <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. 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 He started a massive cavalry fight just a tiny yep. bit west of Fly. Just to see what it did. Just to see what would happen. Yeah. And it, it did some interesting things. It did. It was very interesting. <laughs> Left a lot of dead horsemen. <laughs> On both sides. You cannot make yeah, that exactly. interpenetration. Oh, that's right. Derp, derp, derp. We just talked about that. Yeah, that's going to be hard to remember. I gotta. I gotta yeah. My I'm. I'm now officially on the watch for it. And by the way, I like it. It's. A, I, oh yeah, yeah. It's a very good rule. It's like, no, no, yeah, the, the, the enemy is right there. Behave yourself. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to get out of my way. I'm shooting. <laughs> you don't want to present that mass target of two. Yeah. Two, two, two battalions merging. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Looking like a marching band. <laughs> <laughs> Counter marching. I think that's all I've got at this point. All right. I'd love to get these guns up here, Carno, but I don't think they're going to be able to unlimber until you move out of my way. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You got to. You tell him, so. CT. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
You bring those guns up here. Maybe we can shoot them too. <laughs> <laughs> Start some dissension in the French ranks. Oh, that was day one, brother man. That was day one. <laughs> Uh, all right, we're going to spin it around. Skirmishers allied. Allied skirmishers. Looks like you might have some okay. right there. That looks like uh, five to me. Like... Yep. Pulls them down. Right. One. One. Had you had that skirmisher tasking? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Next one, next one, looking, looking. Any others? Any other skirmishers yeah. for the Brits? What Maybe. you got? What you got? What you got? Where are you? Oh, you're, you're in the weeds. These days or not? Yeah, well, you up on that crest or no? Am I? Yes. There's a hill there. Are you on it or no? Because uh, that'll determine whether they can shoot at you. No. Nope. Okay. Can't be seen. Very good. Cannot see or be seen. Hiding in the lee. Did you put the hit on these guys? I did. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. They lost a base last time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Any other skirmishing from the British? Any other skirmishing? No. No? Negatory. I spin I'm over here with UCT. What you got? I think everything but maybe the last he's the last out. one can't. I don't know about he's, the last. He's two. out. Just out? Okay. In. So I see one, two, three, four, right? It'd be five minus one. The back to four. Correct. Four. For cuz cover. Look at you! Wow. Pew, pew, pew. Man. I'd like to give more skirmisher taskings out, but I'm busy doing other things. Yeah, I was gonna say. That would have been nice. Alright. Got any got nothing there. How yeah, about we need to save we need to save these dice rollers. <laughs> which way you wanna which way you wanna send Gautier? We'll keep shooting, the, we'll keep shooting those guys. Four three. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nothing this time. Mm -hmm. They no. all retreated. Yeah. They all retreated. Uh, these guys over here, they got five to shoot back. Why well, they do. They do. Ugh. Yuck. Poor. Very poor. All right. I spin around again. Guns. Guns, guns, guns. How about that guy? How about that guy? We've only got one that can fire. Now, he can shoot right. any place he likes. So, oh, he wants to. He'd like to canister a horse, wouldn't he? No, that's those guys. Those are, oh, no. those are our Dutch horse. They're a Dutch horse. They want to canister them. <laughs> All right. Um, Counter battery? That's going to that's gonna be over that guy. And he's way too close. So, counter battery will work. The uh, guy there will work. Which one? You can counter battery. Uh, I can counter battery. There yeah. are no other targets, right? Uh, you can hit the skirmishers. I don't know why you'd want nah, to. No point. And you yeah. could, you could also, no, you could also hit these guys. Any really? Wow. Yeah, sure. See around that hill? Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, no, you're right. Thank you. Just the guns. All right. Just the guns it is, then. And it's effective range, I believe. Yep. I believe so. Nothing else. Effective range, no modifiers, you get bounced through. Ooh, that's not good. Ten is never good. That's one and a... Uh, oh, no. Two and a discipline test. Ow. And well, uh, that's, that's that negative there. That's that negative. Discipline test, discipline. please. Pass. Pass. Well done. Uh, we're going to go through the... Which where was the bounce through? I'd say it was... Uh, oh, interesting. Different angle than I might have anticipated. It's, uh, still this guy. It's this guy. Got a, got a CD on him. It passes through the skirmishers? Yeah, the skirmishers just get out of the way. Yep. yep. Skirmishers say, you know, cannons suck. <laughs> the one thing and, that... And horses Guys on horses and, and cannons. cannons. You know what? Everything. Everything sucks. Okay? Everything sucks. <laughs> British guns. Still looking we, for British guns. We just signed up to shoot officers. We're not interested <laughs> in getting hit by cannon fire and run over by horses. That's so, it for British guns. British guns all done. Okay. This view of what Violence Brigade is looking at is so spectacularly cool. It's like... <laughs> 
I bet you I bet you there's some French out there. I just bet. French guns or gun. I don't know how many they got. That one there? They got, they got, got a count about it. Oh, yeah, you got to see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, so unfortunately, that is an inferior battery. Inferior battery fire. How many is that? 2D. It's still 2D6. It's just a bad. Oh, a worster line. What happened to his unformed? And you, uh, he was unformed. He formed up during his turn. Uh, that's a nothing. That's one of the. That's the. That's, no, five is on fear of volley is one. There is no nothing result anymore. It's just inferior battery fire. Five or six. Oh, I'm nothing. Sorry, I'm looking at musketry. Sorry. I oh, ta-da! I'm right for once. Hooray me! <laughs> Rare enough occasion. He came very close to killing one of his own gunners. I know he did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go one of these guys. I think. Well, I think there's he... no bounce through for a miss. Oh yeah, there no. is. Yeah, oh. there is. Oh no, right. skirmishers! But never mind. It's just skirmishers. So. Yeah, yeah, so that don't count. So which one? Which one do you want? I want to go there, but I don't think I can because of the angle is a bit long. Yeah, that's. Go the guys on the back then. And that's effective for sure, right? Yep. And that's a CD because he's in column. Yep. Okay, effective with the CD. Ooh, Ooh. that's two and a discipline test plus the CD, please. No. A uh, discipline test. These boys are they are reservists, so they they need an eight. They need an eight. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Any other guns? Other guns from the French? Any? None. Spinning volley fire. British Achilles. What do you got? Anything? Um. No, those guys buggered off, so I don't have anybody to shoot at anymore. These guys can't shoot the skirmish line. I can't no, shoot through my own. No, skirmish. you cannot. You cannot do ordered fire through skirmishers. Nope, out of arc. Sure. Uh, what's the range for? Nine. 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 Yeah, they ran Nine. away. Those guys you can't. Guys no longer. You guys are back so on nope. fire. Just yeah, they. They. I thought it was the end of the. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Sure. Oh, sorry. Oh. So they're, we we're passing them by and we get rid of it. So continue. Mike, my Mike, here in Zavids, what do you got? Kill them, skirmishers. Uh, let's see here. I think these guys got a shot off here, don't they? They do. Yeah, they, they do. It's uh, That's uh, an inferior volley. And the first hit. Now here's one of our favorite rules. I love this rule so much. These skirmishers are in arc and range. So any hit, oh, the first one has to go onto them. Yep, so murder these, murder these guys, guys first. Well, he, the, here's the thing. He can't sh here's the th Well, I suppose he could. Yeah, he could. Well, but the problem... No, the can't these guys shoot first? Oh, sure. Well, yeah. hang, on, hang, 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 hang on, though. These are Gauthier's skirmishers. Doesn't matter. There are, skirmishers lurk there are skirmishers lurking out here. So they can cover for a different. They're not. They're not covering. Hand. They're not really covering because if they were covering, you couldn't shoot them. Like these guys can't shoot anywhere but here. You know they can't shoot behind. These guys are just getting in the way of things because they're all over the place. I thought they could only provide skirmishing abilities for their own command. It's not a skirmish ability. It's different. They just happen to be well, running around. It isn't. Just whatever you want it's, to call it, it's still the same thing. No, it isn't. They're just gonna, they're it's, gonna it's, lead. it's one hit. Yeah. It's one hit. It's not coverage. Use use these guys first to kill the murder these guys. Well, the thing is, is I can only do one hit each. Yeah, he's rolling one die on each of them, so he ain't going to kill nothing. Right. I'm not going to get a base off, so I'll just go ahead and take this shot here. And, and that's, that actually is two dice. Uh, yeah, on the... It's inferior volley. But it's still going to get sucked up by the... The first hit, if he gets more than one. Uh, just one. Okay, so yeah, it goes to the skirmisher. Okay, so now murder them. Yep. You could. Now we'll shoot the skirmies. Or not. Nope, and another. Yes. Yes. All right. And these guys should have a shot straight ahead, too. They do inferior volley. No, no, they're in cover and they're skirmishers. Oh, that's one die. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Doing skirmishers in cover is very hard. Mm -hmm. Very hard. 
They're all standing behind trees. Yes, they, they got twigs. They got twigs in their. They hat. got twigs in their hats. <laughs> yeah. That's right. All right. All I got. All right. Well, we got to turn four. We got to. So we got hey, one. We got French, we got French volley. Oh, I'm French sorry volley. about that. Forgive me. <laughs> CT. <laughs> and usually, yeah, I'm I, seriously. That's it. I'm not used to the allies going first. Um, we're having so much any, fun. CT, did you? CT, do you have any? No, I can't shoot through my guys, right? right. Yeah, correct. Okay. Yep, yeah, and I can't see these. So. Right. Yeah. So these guys are going to do a skirmish or die straight ahead. Yeah. Oh, they lost. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and do these guys have a shot? Nope. Too uh, far. Yeah. Or the six inches flat period. Uh, I can see him. One die. Okay. Or two, actually. Yeah. Two, but it, two, but inferior volley. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh, not bad. <laughs> that is two. Uh, and Shit. they're not drilled or veteran, so just, just two. Mm. And that is all my volley. There we go. All right, that gets us to turn. So we uh, the scoring, by the way, nobody faltered and nobody was eliminated. So, and then uh, obviously the tactical objective has not changed hands, so that doesn't matter either. So there have been no points scored. I got to get my uh... lots of maneuvering though. Oh yeah, oh yeah, troops. Like, that's like RG, Plenty yeah. of shooting. Plenty of shooting that seemed right. Uh, you know, a lot of discussion of trying to make sure we got rules straight in our head. 9.5.4.1, for example. <laughs> it's a That's, pretty straightforward rule set, that's for sure. I'm just going to change all my passwords to that. <laughs> What's that? 9.5.4.1? Yeah, exactly. Um... <laughs> Any big terrain effects of the woods? Actually, that's a good comment because, as everybody knows, one of the things that we were always testing with Teugenhausen, which, of course, we're going to play for GDA, is the effect of trees because LaSalle is broken in trees, as we discovered. Um, this system actually works really, really well. It's going to be interesting because in trees are going to end up doing... Your charge range is only going to be like four and a half inches. For a line. For a line, but if you put them on a, if you put them on a command... You're suddenly, if you give them a forwards command, they're coming. Yeah, yeah, it's true. But it's like, I'm thinking, like, with a forwards command, a column only has a four and a half inch charge. But yeah. they can only back four. up. They can also only back up two inches. So you're gonna well, right, well, or, or or less, right? Yeah. I mean, it depends what you're charging. A um, forwards command affects your charge? Yes, yes. that's that's the only oh, way you get charge okay. distance. It gives you okay. at least additional plus eight to your charge yeah it's another yeah, plus right. eight so it's it, even though it's halved it's a crazy distance yeah yeah so yes it's expensive but that's the point right i yeah, mean yeah. if you think about it practically these guys are very cautiously making their way through those trees now, i like how this is this does have to rep can represent what's actually going on here which was a big skirmisher fight people's feeding skirmishers in right feeding skirmishers in throughout the day mm-hmm and so that's 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 working well. Um, you know, the garrison hasn't budged in these. And and just like we said, the cavalry always goes through this face-off. You know, it's a mm -hmm. it. You know, it's who goes Push. first. Who Push, goes? Yeah. You know, who do you want to go first? Who can shoot at you? Who cannot shoot at you? Do you want to charge when those cannon can blast your face off? You know, it's a. Yeah. It's, Maybe I should. Have committed to that charge but at the same time like i don't like get my horse canister and potentially waste it <laughs> yeah yeah no i mean it it's that's the that's the decision i don't think you made the wrong one i don't know if you made the right one either but i i it's hard to criticize what you did how's that mm -hmm. uh it well, makes it's hard good... to, yeah order your guys into the guns that's what yeah so historians will spend decades <laughs> wondering about what you did what what do we call it what's the name of the the, sh the shared brain that they have <laughs> The Cetaeologist? Commandologist. The Commandologist, that's it. Yes. Commandolo yeah. the historians will debate for generations whether or not the Commandologist made the right decision in the early going of the Battle of Catra Bra. Um, 
Yeah, so it's there's a lot of cool things to decide. So, like general, I like GDA two a lot. Um, so far, it's holding up well under the pressure point of uh, of you know, Catcher Bra. In the end, Sam Mustafa, Sam Mustafa will just say, "Well, he couldn't have because he went through water." That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the, to end the debate. No, and that's absolutely right, Andrew. Yeah, and and there there are rules in this system for uh, forests that are considered cultivated forests, where there's not as much undergrowth. Um, the rules that Michael Hopper has left us, because this is Michael's scenario, have indicated that this is not one of those forests which approaches closer to an orchard than anything else. But my God, this this brigade, the crazy part of this brigade is as big as it is, because it's got two units that are recruit, at least, this skirmish screen shrinks because they're not as good at it. And that, should, and that should actually really help it. I can't believe I screwed that up. There we go. Let me get a save in. So far as so far as I see it, the story of today's part of the battle was the incredible efforts of the foot battery of pack over here blowing away yes. everybody in the center yes. of the field. <laughs> yes. Chasing everybody away. <laughs> there was chasing. There was definite a, chasing. That is a scary battery of guns right there. <laughs> I will also say though, one thing I very much like is this rule set lets this gun make more sense. Yes. Yeah. That that position where it clearly is intentionally parked as an army battery has a nice field of fire and can fire over troops, so it can actually do some early damage. Mm-hmm. You know, it has been. That is and it has. Cannon has. So well we're certainly far too far far too short a distance in to make any long term decisions. We'll come back for turn four next Saturday, which will be awesome. Um, yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. Yeah, we, we 20, how many likes total? We we did ring the bell for 20. Uh, what did we get? We wound up with 28 likes. Oh, so wonderful. Thank you yeah, so much. have done that for a long time. No, no, well, they, like I say, GDA brings the girls and the boys to the yard. So uh, here they all are. Um, yes, so GDA next week, Battle of Catra Bra 2, uh, coming back at it. On Wednesday, I Ain't Been Shot Mum continues. Action at Galmanche. And uh, Thursday, what 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 were we doing on Thursday? Why am I forgetting? Uh, Charlie, Charlie Don't, don't surf. surf. Charlie Don't Surf. Oh my gosh, I'm embarrassed. We're going to see if uh, Chrono continue, can pull off a nefarious NVA victory using Charlie Don't Surf. So a lot, as we said, of Lardy Games. No apologies. We love them. Thank you so much to those who watched. Thank you to those who played. Until we meet again. Please take care of yourselves and one another. Ron, get your computer fixed so we can talk soon. Pause. Pause. Good night.